Hello and welcome to Hint Plays. I am Dratikup and I will be your Games Master for today. Hint Plays is a channel for RPGs and tabletop gaming from Hobby Gamers International. We run games on a three-week rotation with a rotating cast of players and Games Masters. We also do occasional specials, such as this one, where we look at new games, play online board games and chat about all things gaming. In this case, we are introducing... Sorry, excuse me... Um, the new cyberpunk red RPG from Art Alsorian Games. This is a game set in the dark future as seen from roughly the mid 80s. Uh, not the dark future starting from here. So a completely different environmentally screwed fascist dystopia. Not like this completely screwed environmental fascist dystopia. The PCs are Edge runners, they are survivors on the edge of society. We're in the city of Night City, which 20 years ago suffered a nuclear explosion and has basically been a bit screwed ever since. So they live on the outskirts. Society is not doing terribly well. There is a huge design, the huge divide between the haves and the have nots. And Everybody lives style over substance. Doesn't necessarily matter how poor you are, so long as you look good doing it. So, with me today are Fish Not Fish, aka Fishy, Nidhogg Tia, Robinson, Mollier, and Mollier Sue. So, Normally I would have them introducing their characters, but this being a brand new game and everyone but Fish being basically new completely to the cyberpunk setting, that's a big fool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Fish, I will let you do yours because you're doing a solo. <laughs> Which does yeah. not mean I'm the only person playing, unlike yep. in most yep. games. Right, okay then. Uh, so I'm playing Max. I can't do an American accent, so I've decided that Max isn't from around here. <laughs> but Night City's where he ended up, because after he left the corporate uh, military, um, they didn't actually, as such, let him go. So, uh, on record, he's dead. But just in case anybody notices that he's not dead, he's hanging out in Night City, which is, they're, they're less likely to find him there, because it's still a little bit of a, you know, a wasteland, really. A little bit of but, a wasteland. Yeah. Max, Max comes from Britain, obviously, and he joined up the army, uh, corporate military, because he wanted to get off the streets. He was born into a corporate family, lost everything at a very early age, including his parents, and then signed up to wield a gun. Decided he didn't like it much after all, and disappeared after a particularly bad firefight one day. Now he's in Night City, where he will do whatever the money is there for. Um, according to his life path, okay. he is ruthless and profit-centred and will work for anybody and take any job, which explains why we're in corporate military. Okay. Nid Hogs here. Nid is yeah. playing a nomad who are the road warriors who keep equipment and supplies flowing uh, in this new, brave new world. It's like Mad Max runs Hermes. <laughs> and I made, I made her an, uh, an Irish girl. Fair enough. <laughs> Robinson is playing a techie, playing against type here. He's even Western European. Is there any American in this game set in Night City? I, I had to change mine. The, I think it was probably randomly rolled for the pre-gen characters was... Yeah, um, East Asian, uh, but I decided I wanted to be a Brit, so I changed it to Western European. I just want to know, can your solo do uh, four, four shots a minute in any weather? I can do a damn sign more than that, mate. <laughs> so yes, Robinson is playing a tech. Techs are the ones who build your gear, keep it working, invent new stuff. Rule of call very much applies in Cyberpunk. And one of the rules of call is that um, Cyberware is 
both a necessity and a fashion accessory. And the techs are the people you go to to keep everything working, including your arms, legs, yeah, eyes. Your, your two left arms. Yeah. Yes, your two left arms. <laughs> your two left arms. <laughs> and Molia is playing a fixer. If there is a deal to be made, the fixer is the one making it. Um, they will handle your commission. They will find you the jobs. They will find you that dodgy street drug that uh, you like so much. They will arrange for uh, that particular flavour of ammo uh, to be imported from probably their nomad contacts, that sort of thing. Basically, the fixer is the ducking and diving uh, lifeblood of a party. So... I would just like to point out that uh, they have noticed that mistake. The, oh, cyberpunk, red, the cyberpunk Red PDF has been updated several times already since its release and they have now got a left and a right arm on the character sheet and not two left arms. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to check. I realise the one thing I haven't done is I haven't brought up chatting. Oh dear. No. The chat is horrible because if I want to drag my character sheet and accidentally click on a, on a thing it will send it to chat. Yeah. Yes. Yes it will. Oh everything is appearing in chat. This is us <laughs> learning um, both the introducing uh, these guys to Cyberpunk Red. I've previously run the Jumpstart kit. The only two people who were in the Jumpstart kit are Fishy and Robinson, both of whom have horrible memories. Um, I have so... half decent memory. It's just very selective. I've <laughs> completely decent. forgotten that my memory was bad. <laughs> oh, Fishy. But they do have an awesome memory for bad jokes. <laughs> I mean, I still remember how to say super microscopic silica for canconiosis. Yeah, well, but can you make a song from it? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> if I knew how, if I knew how to make songs, like I would probably go into an industry involving music. Radical. <laughs> yes. All revolving around that word. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got whatever that was, and then another song from the same thing would obviously be Let's Go Fly a Drone. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. We are now planning a cyberpunk red version of Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. It must be done. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, that's not the right window. Wow. I've got two. I've got two monitors, and they are both jammed with so much info. You have no idea. You really don't. I'm onto three rows of windows when I do out tap. Oh dear. Okay, so one thing I will say is this week or today I am giving away another copy of the PDF of this game. So the complete PDF of Cyberpunk Red, courtesy of Art Alsorian, who are genuinely lovely. Great people. Um, Nidhogg managed to win a copy the other day, so I am running another giveaway today. Uh, this one, if you want to enter, and if you, I'd ask if you don't already own a copy, enter. Um, whisper hint underscore plays. Uh, just whisper enter, and at the end of the session, we will roll the dice, roll the die even. And uh, sort it out from there. And let the winner know. And that will be delivered via Drive Through RPG, as most PDF games. So you are. will you will need to be willing to provide the email address that is attached to your Drive Through RPG account, yes. or to or to which you will make be making a Drive Through RPG account if you don't already have one. Yeah. Because that's Indeed. how. It's so if you're not willing to give out your email address to us, if you don't trust us, then don't enter. That's a so, lovely way of putting it. Thanks for that. Well, yeah. see, yeah. <laughs> or to make a throwaway email account and send that to you. Well, no, don't do that because you still need it linked to your drive through. Okay. Yeah, but um, you could make an email account that is only your drive through account. This I is suppose, true. Yeah. For anything else. This is a true thing. This is a fact of trust. Yeah. I think God that this is on the right window. Yes. Where, 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 where is Fishy hiding actually on the cover? Where's Fishy hiding on the cover? Um, he isn't. 
I'm not looking at that screen, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't there. He's he is not there. That's, that's why I'm not looking at that screen, of course, because yes, you've moved me to a different You're map. On a different bit. map. So yes. therefore, <laughs> I'm seeing the map that I'm on, which I'm isn't there. the map. It's a different picture, but I'm. She did say that I was playing a solo, so. <laughs> Because yeah. I was looking like, how does this character? Where does it, how does the character look like? And I'm like, hmm, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Nope. Well, so, the, the the image bears no relation to the description of my character that ah, can be drawn from my character sheet anyway, because the life path system, those not familiar with Artel Sorian games, interlock games, uh, they use a life path system for character creation. The Witcher has it. This mm. one has it. Mechton has it. And part of that life path is that it comes up with things like um, hairstyle and personality, uh, clothing style, things like that. So looking at my character portrait, um, he's not bald enough because my hairstyle is bald, according to this. <laughs> Other than that, I suppose it might look my fit. I don't see quite so many piercings in the portrait. It does say I have piercings in oh. uh, and, and also that my clothing style is high fashion, which that portrait is definitely wearing combat gear, not high fashion. I don't even know what this translates to. In I I suddenly see my cultural origins, and that doesn't ma that, that that doesn't match an Irish person, Middle yeah. Eastern, North Africa. <laughs> the the only thing that the cultural origins actually sets on your character is your choice of um, native language. So if you wanted um, to change it, you can just right click that, write in the appropriate cultural origin, which would which would be Western European if you want Irish. <laughs> Only we're all Western European. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do uh, that. Man. And Otherwise, then if English is not your uh, second language up in, under education skills, then you can again you can click on that and change it to English. Editing the skills is a little more tricky than editing the other boxes, but uh, it can be done. You just have to all right. right click, select oh, edit, well, move, if, if and if then uh, click okay, where it says English. I'm, I'm or whatever. Like I didn't know that. This is a brand new BTT to us. We're learning everything. Brand new game to us, apart from that one um, jumpstart game, which of course was using pre-generated characters. The jumpstart kit is very, very cool, but does not include character creation rules. So, if you're looking at picking up Cyberpunk Red and you know that you definitely want to be playing Cyberpunk Red, then go straight to the rulebook. It's a brilliant rulebook, very well put together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, just helping people out with the whispering. You can whisper at hint underscore place yeah. through Twitch. The easiest way to, actually no, I was going to say the easiest way to whisper somebody is actually just to click on their name, but hint place never actually speaks in chat, so <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> True. Uh, or you can whisper Dratica, which is I me. Think it's, I think it's just forward slash W space hint underscore plays space whatever the message is, isn't it, to whisper yeah. someone? Like, I chat. always do it through the Twitch front end. Yeah, likewise. Because you, you can do it through that. <clears throat> I literally can't find the native language thing. Okay. Okay, so on the in these skills, the second column of skills, you've got language. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, street slang will be the first one then the second one is whatever your native language actually is so if you want to ah, edit that and change it to whatever language you want whether it be english or gaelic or whatever yep because we all speak street slang anyway so we can all um share a language that's something they have very sensibly done in cyberpunk Red. Uh, and indeed the other previous versions of cyberpunk is to assume that everybody speaks street slang so that you don't have to worry about a party of characters who all speak different languages Okay, so the reason that, although the players can't hear it, chat should be able to hear uh, a certain degree of ambient music, chatting and sound, is I'm making use briefly of the Cyberpunk Red module for Sirenscape. And yes, you can pull up the viewer list and click on Hint Plays as well, indeed. Hadn't considered that, yes, well thought. And, uh, well thought. Yes. And... Sorry, totally cold in here. So, you are sat in your local bar. You're uh, in need of cash to pay the rent, literally, on your 
container homes or possibly the sofa surfing you're doing in someone else's container home <laughs> plus you've got the down payment and the monthly on uh, any cyberware you've got for uh, your maintenance contract and you're in the need for cash so fixers agent which combines your PDF, your phone. It's basically your smartphone that's uh, either internal or on your arm. Goes off. And you get the nod at that Biotechnica. Which, do I need to say it's a biotech company? Oh, is that what they do? Uh, have a gig. <laughs> uh, they're specifically after... <laughs> They are specifically looking for people with sensitivity to the natural world. And uh, they are offering 1,000 ebbs uh, euro bucks for the job. Doesn't you take do you know long. right that uh, basic didn't include a lot of sensitivity to it, did it? I'm sensitive <laughs> to the natural world can make me money. <laughs> now you're getting it. Uh, it's good to know Robinson on the right page there. <laughs> I've played a lot of satisfactory. I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ever since there was a nuclear bomb as part of a corporate war 20 years ago, oddly enough, governments haven't trusted corporations like they used to. Don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it takes you about three seconds to hit yes for the meeting and then the meeting de details scroll up uh, you are needed at a biotechnical facility in northern california night city is in california go with it um <laughs> it's seven i believe it used to be san diego but i will check it's basically several cities kind of merged together and then there's a big old where it's radioactive still which would be where one of the new the uh, briefcase nukes went off in the Arasaka Tower. Just as a, as an aside, nuclear radiation from bombs doesn't actually hang around that long. No, this is why not everybody in the city's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but the whole air has the reason it's called the Time of the Red is there is quite a lot of air pollution. So if you remember what the footage looked like of California being on fire recently. With everything looking like it had just escaped from Blade Runner. That's pretty much what it looks like. Red sky at night, morning, midday, evening. Red time. sky at night, corpse had a fight. <laughs> Fair enough. Red sky in morning, at morning, they gave us no warning. Yes, red sky in morning, what? <laughs> okay. So... Uh, the Nomad being your uh, ride, unless you want to take public transport out there. Uh, How lucky are you to die getting on a bus? <laughs> um, you're not. Buses are one of the major forms of tra uh, transport for edge runners. It's not uncommon to see some guy sat there checking his arsenal, uh, mm -hmm. polishing his cyber leg. Uh, while waiting for his stop. Fair play. That's the problem with uh, solos, you see. In between jobs, they never help anybody. They're just sitting around on their arsenal the whole time. <laughs> also, cycling. Quite a big thing. Oh, no, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm adding a bike to my character sheet. I've <laughs> got a bike. <laughs> I just love the idea. With the assault rifle strap and sword strapped across his back. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, I, I want an electric scooter now. But yeah. like, you know, like the actual like kids scooters with yes. the motor in it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, basically, all, most cars are powered with uh, alcohol engines, alcohol-based engines. Uh, mm -hmm. It's coming over all Twilight 2000 on us. Um, the high-end corporate ones will tend to be hydrogen fuel cells. But Explosive. what? People, but bear in mind, you know. People will tend to steal stuff if it's not nailed down. So nomad vehicles tend to have really good security. 
because nomads live in their vehicles. You know that Too whole, you know, expensive, but I've already got legs. I'm sticking yeah. with a push bike. You know that whole uh, move back baby seat. I pretty much live in my car. Yeah, yeah. that's a nomad. Yeah, it's that uh, move those three members of my family. They're camping <laughs> out in the back of my truck. So, so basically, my car is filled with uh, those those uh, uh, cardboard boxes of McDonald's and stuff. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, how you get around is you can do it by public transport, you can do it by bike, you can do it by motorbike, you can do it by car. Um, there are lots of different ways to get around. You are very, very street level. Very. And I just adore the sight of edge runners on a bus. I just love this. Yeah. So, uh, are you going with fire for the pronunciation there? Nid? For your uh, nomad? Yeah, oh, there we are. Fire. Fire. Yeah, fire. Yeah. Fire. Alright, yeah, I need to think of a name. Ooh, name. You can. At least that's what it says. Uh, yeah, Thea. Fear, is it the yeah. Okay. So I am still finding my way around the Astral VTT. I'm used to Fantasy Grounds and I'm used to Roll20. This is my first time properly using Astral. I apologise for any incompetency that occurs. Um, the odds are pretty good it'll be my fault. I think it'll likely be Astral's fault. <laughs> hey, you never know. So. I go to that map. I go to that map. Hello. So. Let's Is go. everybody going to join me at the woman who needs the loo? She um, really does. I would really like to be able to see the maps. Yeah, I'm. I'm moving. I the... Well, I. I'm, I can't even get my my left hand uh, bar up, but. Oh well. Don't worry, you Still don't need... Trouble. Okay. It's... We're not going to be using the VTT for very much in this. It's okay. mainly good old-fashioned roleplay and rolling dice. So... That sounds yeah, that, yeah, that criticism... We're going to make it up or... go along. Yeah. Yeah, my whining Theater was directed... of the mind! To... My whining was directed to Astral, not to yeah. any human no, people. That's, that's fine. Yeah, Theatre doesn't mind. I apologise to anybody who is into theatre of the mind that I have a great deal of difficulty saying it without going into the pretentious theatre of the mind. <laughs> it's just theatre of the mind. The term hadn't been coined yet when I started gaming. I just called it role playing. <laughs> I called it playing pretend. Hmm. Sorry about this. The the key thing that I use to describe what a role playing game is to people, I actually stole from Mike Bondsmith, who wrote. Who created cyberpunk and it was in possibly mecton 2 one of the earlier altal saurian games where it was described as a let's pretend with rules and that's how i've been describing it to people ever since because it just is so right for what role-playing games are exactly uh, okay uh, Uh -huh. She does need the loo. Oh, ooh. People oh yes. Here, yes, yeah, I told you she needed the loo. <laughs> oh my, okay. <laughs> I'm that actually is, That is some, some fluffy hair. That is, that's a lot of fluffy it's, hair. So it's we've, pretty spectacular hair, yeah. It's being the contacted by Poochie with a job. <laughs> what am I missing? For, um, I take it fire's not showing. Right, okay. Uh, not yet. Be drawing. Uh, uh, could you please not be drawing I, on the map? I don't mean. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, okay. it, it, it just. I was trying to scoot it up on the screen and it just went splash. It's okay. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Literally, don't. There, there are more things in this game to worry about. I just want that table. I think it's fantastic. It is a bit. You mm. would always, however, know if someone was covertly feeding the dog underneath it. Okay, well, I can tell you now, having right. just experimented, that Astral does not like my touchscreen. I wanted to write graffiti all over this um, using the freehand brush, but it will only let me do it with the mouse, not with my finger. This is probably a good thing, in fact. 
probably. Oh, no, yes. It'll be a really tense fight scene later on, and Fish is just fighting Fish was here. There we go. <laughs> what, no bullets? <laughs> okay, you should now all be looking at the Biotechnica briefing room. Indeed. A subtle and understated facility, and also <laughs> cause of stopping that one and starting come on it's a very shiny facility <laughs> it is yeah it really is a lot of reflection i'm going to pretend it makes any difference right. whatsoever and put myself in one of the chairs <laughs> yeah I, I, I did the same <laughs> i kind of i was kind of already in one but uh <laughs> this yeah. looks like munchkins have attended a meeting <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that you're all off to see the wizard. I, I'll take the one at the, the top of the table because that makes me seem important. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Um, I will point out I'm going to be running my own um, campaign for Cyberpunk Red. When, when playing that, I promise to take it more seriously. Yes. You can. Um, <laughs> you are allowed to. Uh, also, I will probably be doing it via Morecore on Fantasy Grounds. Yeah, this, as much as anything, be. this was here, so we wanted to have a proper look at uh, Astral. And it's a short mm -hmm. enough scenario. We can do this as a learning process for both the game and for really for the setting, because I think only Fish mm -hmm. is really familiar with it. I'm not yeah. that familiar with it. I've been, I've, I've been into Cyberpunk since the first edition, which was yeah. set in 2013 and released when that was you know, still quite a way into the future. But uh, I played a lot more Shadowrun. Yeah. Yeah. Never played very much Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was a bit hardcore, to be honest. Okay. Shadowrun, yeah, I had to is. hack the rules to make them dangerous. <laughs> Cyberpunk is the other way around. Cyberpunk, if you sneeze wrong, you're dead. And that's something that has definitely stayed in this version. Keeping that. Yes. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you've already accepted, in principle, yeah. the gig, uh, Molia. Mm -hmm. uh, largely, you have, you have clicked, I am interested, <laughs> uh, which is why you're out here. You've accepted the cookies. <laughs> So, yes. Uh, so. Proof I'm not a robot. <laughs> entirely. Right. So, uh, I have to, you know, I have to find her a voice now. Um. No, I can't do Marina. If I do Marina again, you I will all kill me. I have a feeling going to be Marina, but no. no, I'm quite glad if it's not going to be. I'm sorry, I, I could do Marina. Uh, rude. <laughs> I can't see and... her with that voice. I don't uh, know, actually. I kind of can. <laughs> I know. I suppose. What the hell? I, uh, I, astral, mainly. I have no idea, Nid. What's up? I was trying to zoom in on my character sheet, but now suddenly it does weird things, so I'm like, eh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, la da 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 so, uh, yes, a young woman walks in and introduces herself. There we go. Okay, apparently young woman. Biosculpting can do a lot. You're not 100% sure True. what anyone can look like these days, especially a corpo with uh, a bit of cash behind her. Okay. Uh, greets you, but in a generic... Yeah. So, uh, yes, you're the minions. You're the latest ones. What happened to the last group? Uh, they didn't fulfill our corporate remit for ecological sensitivity. Do you mean they shot a tree? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, with, I believe the term was an underslung grenade launcher. Well, that's not so bad then. <laughs> well, this was. It was highly destructive, and that's not something that we can countenance. 
In fact, that's why you're here. Uh, as you may be aware, if you're keeping up with our corporate updates, in the last three months, two of our reference forests have been hit by wood pirates. Whoever they are, they've cut down do dozens of valuable trees and removed a few dozen burls. At first, we thought it was Greenfist, but it's looking more like someone out there just doesn't want us cutting into their business. No pun intended. Uh, these pirates have hit at night when the forests are unattended. So, Site RF003 is the next logical location for a hit. So, your job will be to go into the forest uh, and set up an ambush. Without damaging the trees. Obviously. Find these pirates. Well, let's take these fellas out when they turn up. Mm. And Sp don't damage trees. Specifically, oh. I need you to find these pirates. I need you to stop them. I need you to find out who's funding them. So that we can ask them ever so politely to go away. Right. Uh, and... Uh, to avoid any damage to the forest. Right. I've only got one question. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's Bloody hell, he's a wood pirate. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'd imagine that the clue is in the name. Indeed. A pirate made of wood. <laughs> I don't. See, I just don't see how you can distribute copyright break, um, infringing wood. <laughs> <laughs> when when they smelt it down into the bars, all it means is that they've scraped off the uh, identification stamp. Naturally, naturally grown wood is a highly valued <laughs> commodity uh, for those of discerning natures. So I can understand why you might not appreciate the ramifications of losing these crops. So that will basically make oh. IKEA a luxury brand. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever considered just putting guards on your trees? <laughs> we had considered it, but to be honest, uh, it's actually ch you know cheaper to hire in such people as yourselves. We do obviously have plantation guards <coughs> overall, but they really can't be expected to be on a 24-7 watch. So, you know, there was uh, I thought that's exactly what guards were supposed to be. Yes. Well, if you don't want this job, then I'm reasonably sure we can replace you in... She pulls out her agent... Yep. 3.5 seconds? Roughly? Possibly longer. I have to contact uh, one of our other brokers. I do still seem to be still here, so uh, I guess I'll do the job. Good. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Deploy the elves! Thank you, Mecky! <laughs> Plant a tree beard. Genetically engineer your trees to be alive. There we go. Problem solved. They can walk away from the pirates. I think you'll find that most I trees like that grow are alive. Any Groot. I mean, I'm Groot, and then you go. They should, yeah, they should put some horn class drone security drones in there. <laughs> a fence might be a good start, to be honest. I've already taken a fence. Oh, it's <laughs> a fence. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, as uh, as for dead or alive, Biotechnator does not wish to know what happens after you gain the intelligence as to who is funding these miscreants. So basically your trees would like some fertiliser. Biotechnica does not want to know what happens once you gain this intelligence. You're interested only in the trees staying well and the and you get in the information. Everything else exactly. is now to do with you. Precisely. This yeah. is it. See, this is simple. We can do this. Yes, you. I'm sure you have your specialist areas, and that's not one of mine. Okay. So, if uh, 
if you would like to make your way to the roof we can send you to a ranger station in RF003 um, at the moment I thought they've got the forest on the roof <laughs> <laughs> how big is a forest <laughs> how big is a forest bigger than a wood <laughs> smaller than a plant I don't know <laughs> big Smaller than a mega forest. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, one forest. Uh, and then uh, you obviously have like 1024 forests, and that's a mega forest. Yeah. 1024 mega forest is a giga forest. <laughs> so when do we get to the pet of forest? <laughs> Look. Well, you can do that as soon as you get there. And most Normally people prefer to hug the trees, but if you want to pet them, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I will floof the trees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she sends you up to the roof, wherein a large helicopter is waiting. Uh, those of you in the know, I basically, actually, yeah, from all of your points of view, you're going to recognise it. Um. I like the fact that there has to be a point that we recognise a helicopter. That says a lot. I think Max has oh. shot at them in the past. Nid has stolen one. Max may have jumped out of some on occasion. You know? No, 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 not, not like this. Um, Robinson probably knows how to break them. And Molly has probably arranged a rental for them. Yeah. Uh, you Apparently are... I'm a nautical mechanic, which seems a bit out of my element in a forest, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, the one I'm fighting pirates, right? That that was I misunderstood. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Yo ho ho and the bottle of sap. <laughs> oh, I suddenly got that uh, the Mitch Ben song about the Somali pirates going through yes. my head. Yes. Yeah. Silly in good old fashioned pirates. Yes. We are the pirates from the northeast of Africa. Yes. yes. Okay, so yeah, you are looking at a VL-11 corporate bus, which is the helicopter, uh, which whisks you away, up, up and away, over swathes of what you assume to be very well-organised forests. All of which are on a grid pattern. And you are landed at a ranger station on the outskirts, just outside a dense grid patterned. Looks down at the neat grid pattern of trees as we fly over it. Uh, it's not like nature. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ding, ding. Right. I got this one. So, can I group select character? Why are you doing oh. that to me? <laughs> astral, why? Just, because just it's why? Astral. Yeah. What the hell did I ever do to you? Right, okay, Woo! so. Hello, Raiders. Oh, oh, oh my god. Raiders. Good lord. Yeah. We have Raiders. Uh, Hello, Rusty Raiders. Hang on, okay. we've just been hired to fight off Raiders, haven't we? Shouldn't we be shooting <laughs> these guys? Yeah, uh, possibly. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's what we should be doing now. Yeah. But there's kind yeah. of a few more of them than me. Uh, yeah. Ah. Just make. Yeah. Are you guys? Just are you guys good pirates? <laughs> okay, Rusty Raiders, welcome. Good lordy dicks. Oh, we, we're in a new background. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're in a scope. He's he's sniping yeah. at us already. <laughs> what the? That's not intimidating at all. Um, <laughs> Okay, yep, you are dropped by your helicopter at this ranger station just outside the forest. Oh. I told you it was disturbing. You can well move them around and then you can see more. You know, you are all very welcome indeed. Um, just a quick roundup, and yes, that's a lot of people, and I am endeavouring not to have a hyper. I'm in and hello, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> it's all happening now. We've got a right. raid from uh, oh. Rusty Quill, and we've got our Telsorian turning up. So, so that's fine. But I'm not all. pressured at all. It's, it's no fine. Gotta start taking this seriously now. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, uh, but the area room Robin, kind of reminds me of the Raptor paddock from Jurassic Park. Robin, if you uh, <laughs> move around for character. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Gray. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Can you trade sheep for wood in Cyberpunk? <laughs> 
Hello, Looper! I was Hello. trying not to make any of those jokes when we were talking about it at the start. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. Um, yeah, Cyberpunk is this wonderful, wonderful mix of it can be comedy, and then three seconds later you've got bits dropping off while the building burns down around you. I'd like to keep my wood, though. Like, the other bits can fall off. Uh, phrasing, please? Children, um, children, yes. children. But, uh, it's okay, I am legally the child representative here. Disturbingly, this youngest. is correct. He really <laughs> is. He is the kid. Yes. Um, but, okay, so, what yes. Do, what do I try to say for Robin? If you move around your character, then you move around the scope as well, so he can more, see more oh, really? of the... Yeah, the, 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 the oh, yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah, oh, so that can, helps. Uh, okay. Not actually cool. on a map, we're on a, a picture, but you we are. can zoom, we can look around it, and the dynamic lighting will let us see only those bits that we're pointed at. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the layout does look good, doesn't it, Looper? Okay, so for those of you just joining us, uh, Cyberpunk Red uh, is a ah. brand new incarnation of the game that started in 2013, as uh, Cyberpunk 2013. Then the legendary Cyberpunk 2020. We are now in the time of Red, which is 2045, where Red refers to mostly environmental buggerances uh, due to nuclear incidents 20 years earlier. As we uh, said once already, but there's a lot of people here who didn't hear this bad joke last time. <laughs> a, Red Sky at night, corpse had a fight. Red Sky in morning, they did. They gave us no warning. Yes. Yes, it's no funnier this time. Thanks. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, we are talking the dark, grim future as seen from the neon lit 80s. So, we are in a neon soaked dystopia uh, where corporations do desperately still try to rule the world, but are far less trusted and relied upon than governments used to do ever since they had a bit of a fight and a falling out and nuked various cities. They took it personally. <laughs> so our intrepid gang of edge runners are out to make rent, literally, uh, by hiring themselves out to a company called Biotechnica, who have had pirates coming in and stealing wood from their forests. Uh, which they grow as luxury materials. So, of course, in an environmental hellscape, you know, truly organically grown wood is a big deal. It's, it is expensive. As Nid just said, IKEA is a lux high-end luxury brand in this. Yeah. <laughs> so... They have been flown out from the Biotechnica facility to Ranger Station on the edge of this forest. The remit is to capture, stop, and preserve the and uh, stop the pirates and preserve the trees, um, and find out who's funding the pirates. Um, Biotechnica does not have any interest in what they do with the pirates after that. Bixby, go back to sleep. I... Okay, I have discovered that Bixby knows how to activate itself based on something I just said. I have no idea what. <laughs> so, I am so glad. I'm just really chuffed to see so many people and I've forgotten how to GM. <laughs> this is great. Um, it's all fine. Uh, it's all good. I, I believe it involves giving us lots of money and gear first, um, <laughs> then a couple of things that are no challenge whatsoever, and then telling us how great we did. Exactly. That's, I think that's about how it goes. Yep. Yeah, we're all seeking validation here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. The forest ahead of you is dense, and the trees tower over the surrounding regions. It doesn't even look like RF003, i.e. reference forest, was set up this decade. It's at least 10, possibly 20 years old. We're talking old growth, and those are not evergreens. <laughs> I 
And I appreciate, Molière, your discretion with the mute button. <laughs> I'm I'm sure that there are plenty of people walking their dogs in this forest, and that's what we're hearing. Absolutely, yeah. This is clearly the same sort of place that allows people, you know, randos to just wander in and walk their dogs. Absolutely. Well, they Absolutely. have a pirate problem. Can... They just let anyone in. <laughs> this would be like um, the you know reservoirs for the water companies. Presumably, you know, they allow like corporate dog walking retreats and things. Mm. Uh, so, a guy in a sharp, well, a sharp suit coloured to look like uh, khaki ranger gear. <laughs> Love it. Which unfortunately comes off looking an awful lot like our man in Havana. <laughs> uh, doubles over unnecessarily low given the size of this helicopter and comes running towards you. As you hop out, uh, the Avenger. You're uh, oh, mustn't give him an Aussie accent. I'm so tempted to give him an Aussie accent. Oh, I'm, I really am. We're we're getting every accent except America. With, here yeah. Today. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, you're uh, you're the new independent contractors. Yes. All right. Yeah, please assume a Californian accent. I can't do one. <laughs> or rather, I can, but it's you clever. don't want me to. No. <laughs> if I do, you'll hate every character I play. Chat isn't showing up on the screen. Why is chat not showing up on the screen? No, it isn't. Telling me, however. Oh. If chat is not showing up on the screen, can people and um, people notice I. You know the players. Could you let me know? Because well, I, I don't have the screen, I did, so I yeah, yeah. Didn't know. I have it minimised. Sorry. That's fine. Nah, Should now be showing. I'm looking at it with uh, the phone. That's cool. So there it is. Yeah. Basically, it's a new. The layout had gone over the top of where the chat window was. It was on the uh, wrong level. Entirely my own fault. Uh, this is the problem with trying to set up the um, the layout in OBS and also figuring out Astral at the same time. Yep. So yeah. we've never played with this virtual tabletop before, but we're using it because it includes um, some Cyberpunk Red stuff Thanks. built yep. into it. So straight away, if you want to try out Cyberpunk Red and you've just picked up the book, you can sign up with Astral and use this Wood Pirates scenario for free. Mm -hmm. No expense at all, so it's a it's a way to to get going with Cyberpunk Red yeah. on Ebay. This Bible. is but one we've of never used it. yeah. This is one of the scream sheets MIDI scenarios, uh, for which are in the main rule book, which is extremely good. And as I said earlier, if you would like a copy of the role playing game that this is that came out wrong, yes, Cyberpunk it's, it's Red actually, PDF. This has just become awkward. Yeah, <laughs> the tactic we're using for this giveaway has just become difficult with this many people in chat. You never know. We'll just have to roll the d or something. Yeah. Um, which is that I am giving away a copy of the PDF of this game. Uh, if you don't already own one, you can whisper hint underscore plays, and you will be entered into the draw. And I will roll a dice. Actually, I'll probably roll percentile now. Depending on how many entries we get, like it may go that way. Yes, uh, and contact at the end of the session. Uh, I would normally use the giveaway and raffle functions, but they're a bit funky on this bot. And it's a bot I'm not familiar with. While we're doing this on Phantom Bot, I know how it was working. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll just whisper enter to hint underscore plays, and that will put you in the draw one per person. I, I do feel that once again I should point out that in order to get this which is being delivered through drive through RPG you will need to provide the email address that is associated with your drive through RPG account or if you yep. don't have an account yet the email address you will use to create one. Yep. So if you're particularly paranoid about giving out your email address then things yep. get a little bit awkward. Yep. Uh, obviously I would not retain any emails given to me because 
I not GDPR registered and therefore I'm yeah. not in a position to do so. Um, this would purely be used for the purposes of handing out the pass. So, uh, you're the, the new private contractors, yes? Hi, that's us. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi, uh, he sort of offers his hand in an arc and doesn't actually step forward to give it to anyone because he's not quite sure who he should be introducing himself to. Uh, I'm too busy holding an assault rifle to shake hands anyway. <laughs> Half brick in a handbag. You are subtle as. I am playing the solo. You are. You are indeedy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm Ranger Tony. Um, it's uh, this is this is my responsibility. So, uh, yeah, please well, sort it out. I I hesitate to say this because um, it's perhaps a little bit mean to my fellow player, but I'll, I'll fix that. Got us together for this. So, if anybody's supposed to be talking to him, I apologise. I'm being okay. driven in crazy by the dogs. Oh, That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, there was uh, obviously there's a corporate dog walking party going on. Clearly, <laughs> they've they've got some uh, you know cyberized security dogs um, patrolling the the forest. Obviously, <laughs> that's never been proven. <laughs> <sighs> so we're going to need some basic information from you then. Um, right. Okay. Well, these are trees. Not quite that basic, mate. Not quite that basic. We need to know uh, where are they likely to come from? Where are they likely to be striking? What are the parts that we that need best to be protected so that we can protect them? Hey, 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 I like where she started out. Well... Right, fine, <laughs> go back to the trees. Please, please. Can you give us a corporate spiel about uh, like, what, what brand of trees what do you do? <laughs> These are Biotechnica branded yeah. deciduous Hate trees. On these trees has been uh, filed. It's, exactly. <laughs> uh, I think he will find that uh, these are genetically marked with our patent. And uh, therefore, we would theoretically be able to trace any future use. Unfortunately, these things have not necessarily hit the open market when they've been stolen. Uh, other don't, forests... Don't steal any branches. God, no. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, such things are too large, otherwise you will be searched on your departure. Um, so if they've not hit the open market, then either they've been stolen to order, or somebody's having a bonfire. He actually does the whole pearl clutching thing. The heart of the most expensive bonfire. Yeah. Don't even joke about it. Look, this is they my job on the line. have to keep warm. This is my job on the line, so I'm making it your job on the line. I know you're getting paid well for this. Bloody want to be. Are we yes. getting paid well? You are getting paid 1,000 EBs per person. Is that well? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, you're making us branch managers now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should leave the puns alone. Oh, go on. <laughs> go on. This is it. Get it out of your ecosystem. Are we taking the right route through this? <laughs> I, I feel like okay. I should. I would go advise on. against this. <laughs> Oh, good. Mosey Pope proving that his bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> that was actually Tilly. Okay, I was uh, close. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am so, so sorry. This is no. why I haven't... Molia, Molia, don't it, worry. It's all fine. Look, we are expecting at least two visitations from Pippin. And if yes, he avoids yes. knocking the camera over, that will be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we've got Robinson. Well, yep. Yeah, I'm just here. Well, to be honest, Night Bites isn't here. And without <laughs> Night Bites, we don't have our, our regularly scheduled dog interruption. So thank you for being here and providing a replacement. Exactly. <laughs> there is no need to have any concern about that. Chat loves pets. Chat loves knowing oh. that people have pets. <laughs> 
and I, I, your dogs are being sociable. It's not interfering with us. It's fine. It's okay. fine. It is Thank absolutely you. fine. Thank you. Um, they are overachieving a bit. They are. They are just proving that they want. They've got an audience, and uh, they are just being friendly. You see, Knight acknowledges this. So, it's not yeah. like they're doing a bella when somebody walks past with a pizza. How big is this facility? <laughs> Trying to get us back on game, like. Trying to get us back on the game. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Hang on a minute. Do, 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 do. Huh. <laughs> okay. Do you know that's one thing they haven't actually told us? Um, never mind. The screen sheets are effectively um, yeah. scenario capsules, really, aren't they? They are. They're they ideas are. that give you enough information to build up. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so we're missing that. Yeah, we are looking here, however, at uh, kind of old growth, well, relatively old growth speaking, well, mature anyway, uh, Dalbergia, which we have acclimatised to this region. It's not even supposed to be here. Yeah, but we're more interested in, in like, how big the place is how much ground have we got to cover well there's a uh, there is a fire watch tower in the center of the forest that's about an hour's walk right does that give you uh, an idea so if we're going to be potentially up to an hour away from where they strike you're not expecting us to stop them stealing all the trees, are you? Yes. Because when we see the tree fall down, it's going to take us a bloody hour to get there, isn't it? Well, it's not quite that bad. Um, oh, are okay. you lending us bikes? Uh, <laughs> no, we are not lending you bikes. We could use a chopper to fly over it. Uh, if, we could, gone already. if we could land a helicopter in a forest, we wouldn't need you. We can just parachute out. out of yeah, the you, don't, you don't want to parachute into a uh, forested area. That's not a good plan. No, you're better off just repelling. <sighs> Pelling me. <laughs> um, never mind. Anyway, this fire tower, fire watch tower, sounds like yes. the right place to set up because yes. then we'll be able to keep an eye out and see there where there is. is uh, yes, he hands over a key card. This will get you into the tower. He looks over at you and hands it to uh, the fixer. It's the person who looks like they're vaguely on the ball and he's also scared of Max. <laughs> Do we have a map of where the trees have been stolen from? There have been no thefts from this forest. Okay. This is just their assumed next target. This is their assumed next target. If nothing happens, then you get to camp out at the fire watchtower until something does. Is there a maximum they, they amount of time we'll be out here? Yeah, we're just going to live here forever now. Yeah. Well, obviously, these uh, attacks have been going every couple of days, so we are due another attack. They're coming out down by night. It seems most likely, according to our analysts, that there's going to be an attack this evening. Yeah, pretty sure that we were being paid for one night's work. If they don't turn up today, they'll just have to pay us again. You're being paid for one full night's combat work. Um, obviously, if no combat happens, then that does not count as part I'm of the one. Sorry, but we don't work that way. You don't work that way. No. We've got a simple hourly rate. You're paying us for the for one night's work. How much shooting we do during that time is completely irrelevant. That all comes gratis and as you know, inclusive with it within uh, the price. We do not charge extra for the fact that I have to buy new ammunition or wear and tear on weapons, things like that. None of that. That's all inclusive. You get a really good inclusive price. But after tonight's over and done with, even if we don't shoot at anybody at all, you pay us, and tomorrow we'll just have to renegotiate. Why does well, the fire watchtower not have a bunch of really long zip that, lines? Getting paid per shot, shot bullet kind of makes me. Right. <laughs> this is not slight. And we, this is in, all inclusive rate is the way we do things. 
Right. Well, there is equipment at the fire watchtower that should make your life a lot easier and should save you from needing to do any kind of ridiculous levels of running around at night in a forest. Okay? In other words, there's three stuff to take apart. Right, let's get to it. Oh. <laughs> do I take it, sir? Another question. They probably will use chainsaws, and how long will it take for them to chop down a tree with it? Well, it does vary, you see. Um, uh, on previous analysis, uh, depends whether or not we're talking redwood. Um, we do also have mahogany. If they target the mahogany, that's a harder wood. That will take longer. Um, really, it's how the long quickest is... tree is, how long? The quickest tree? Well, none of them are very quick. They're all pretty much stationary. Breaking news. Trees cannot run away. <laughs> If they were able to run away, we wouldn't be here because they would defend their no, they themselves. Said but, it um, the the quickest, how how quick can they chop down the tree? Uh, it should Possibly. take just a matter of minutes. Ah, right. Because if it would take a bit longer, then if we hear the chainsaws, we can run for it. I think by the time you hear the chainsaws, it might be too late. Ah. So... Do you Fair. know from previous raids on other forests how they arrive? Presumably they must bring vehicles to tow the wood away with. We gather they have arrived by trucks. Um, we trucks. know that and they... what we're doing is we're looking out for trucks then? Yes. Yes. Okay, you could have told us that and it would have made life a lot easier. Uh, we do have a series of mini drones currently patrolling the forest. Um, do good. any of you know how to use complex technology? Over to you, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's you, Robinson. Yeah, sorry. Complex I'm just technology. <laughs> a comment in the chat. <laughs> if you could, if you could lay off the complex technology long enough to deal with the complex technology, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, he looks rather patronisingly at the nomad, the gun-wielding nut bar, <laughs> and the person who is currently arranging his next four jobs on the agent. <laughs> And booking a pizza. Hey, pizzas are important. You have they to are. stay stay nourished. Exactly. It's Do you reckon you could sell photos of cars. trees? You probably could, but since these are corporate property, um, no. Oh, damn it. Have permission for that. Yeah. No, uh, we can't yeah. with somebody analysing photographs of our mature trees and working out exactly how we have... Uh, cultivated them in order to survive in this environment yeah you'd get a dmca strike <laughs> exactly <laughs> dm3a yeah, yeah. DM3A. look mate you're not the only one allowed to make bad jokes <laughs> <laughs> okay uh so yes sir uh, if um if you're au okay with uh, this kind of technology drone technology Says, I mean, I would say I'm good at technology. Right. Um, I can give you the access codes for these mini drones. Oh, I'll gladly take that. Which will give you eyes in the forest. Um, <laughs> otherwise, uh, they're just going to be static feeds for you because obviously we can't risk complete amateurs driving them. It's it's a dangerous environment to be flying. Can, can you not fly above the tree line? You know, once you go above a widespreading canopy, it's quite tricky to spot people attempting to commit chainsaw crimes underneath. Ah, so they don't have audio feeds. It's a shame. They do. We don't want drones monitoring the, uh, the, the canopy. We want drones monitoring the edges of the forest because we need to see the trucks turning up so that we know where to get to. So Just... all the drones will have to move to the outside at forest. This is true. We need intel. Yeah, that's what it's all about, mate. We need intel. No, the drones are not for to to be used for. How far can it go before they turn uh, turn off, uh, Robinson? <laughs> Actually, what well, I was no restaging the Battle of Britain. <laughs> so no, because like on a, on a serious note, what I was thinking was just putting like motion detectors on them, flying them out to the edge, dropping the motion detector, and bringing it back, and just <laughs> if you've got motion detectors, that's a plan. I can make them. 
Yeah. Can you indeed? Okay. So yes, I'm. I believe anyway. There's there's more equipment at the fire watch station. It's uh, it's not really my bag. Um, so. Presumably, uh, that's where the monitors are for drones. Yes. Well, yeah. no, no, no. Um, sorry, not where the monitors are for the drones. Uh, the drones, I can give you the key for the feed. Oh, so, so you've not got monitors for the drones? Don't have separate monitors, no. Um, I can give you the key so that you can watch them through your agents. Right, okay. Uh, and obviously you, sir, will be able to control them through your agent. So, he hands I'm not over... Sure that that's a very good way of doing things. I mean, only me agents like this are big. Right? <laughs> and a monitor, you can see a lot more. <laughs> okay. Rep will give temporary access codes for the security drones. There we go. So, yes, uh, he will give Robinson the codes to control the security drones. Send that straight to your agent. So everybody can see the feeds, but he can see the feeds and has that little four-way trackpad Ooh. at the corner of each one. So can move them. It's like playing a mobile game, but with real drones. It is exactly like playing a mobile it game. It is exactly, yeah. yes. He's going to be sat there going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, why do they have to use the G-sensor to control these things? <laughs> the entire arm just go. <laughs> right, let's go and get set up in the fire watch tower then, shall we? Okay. <sighs> How many drones are there? Four. Four. There are four. So we're going right, to gonna name, we're gonna to paint them all different colours and different give them nicknames. Drones. Well, I can tell you one's green, one's light blue, one's dark blue, and one's brown. Oh, so really eeny, meeny, meeny yeah. miny, and mo. I mean, that, we got that covered. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, and mo. Right, okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So, now you're going to open up the thing, aren't you? I will assign them. to Robinson. I get actually assigned stuff. Ooh. How does being assigned something work? Right, what this does is it will give you control. God help us all. <laughs> over those drones. Which are not present in this map, so when you get to the map where they're on. Okay, cool. Uh, so when we're on a battle map, yeah. uh, you'll be able to move the bones around. Yeah. At least I will, and he should be able to. Does that mean I can glue weapons to them? No! <laughs> Why not? I think I think you answered the wrong question there, Trapps. Um He asked, can he glue weapons to them? To which the answer is yes, if you have weapons and glue. Uh, actually, that's he did true. not ask. May he glue weapons to them? <laughs> this is actually true. This is a very. Or very... indeed, should he glue weapons to them? <laughs> Give Robinson control. Yes. Very <laughs> scary words for that to buy a GM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what, what? What works better instead of glue, you you, start, you use tie wraps. I have duct tape. Right, it's the ultimate mm -hmm. tool for strapping things to something else. Yes, not flex tape. <laughs> I am taking a brief bio break <laughs> and getting an extra coffee. Uh, okay, so we're, five, we're okay. taking a five minute break. We are we? taking a two minute break, uh, taking a couple of minutes because I need a moment because otherwise I'm going to duct tape <laughs> up into his chair. <laughs> so in, in that case, does anybody in chat have any questions that they would yeah. like to ask um, while we're waiting for Drat to come back? And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The answer is no, apparently. <laughs> well, well, you're all too afraid to ask us questions. What has happened by Drat taking a two minute break is, of course, that she has guaranteed that um, both dogs will now be quiet for two minutes. <laughs> exactly, yes. I 
I apologize for not actually participating so much. I've, it's just too much for me right now. So yeah, sorry, I will do better. have a good time. That's the important part. I have drugged the dogs, and so um, <laughs> so now they are fine. I thought oh. you said I have drugged the dogs. That's what I said. Yes. <laughs> no, okay. I, well, of course, their drug of choice is snacks. So yeah. I. Um, but yes. So uh, finally found the right tribe. I've only just noticed this, but in my uh, my like little life bar thing, apparently my lover was kidnapped. <gasps> Life path is brilliant. It produces some some fantastic results. They don't necessarily make sense if you go perfectly totally randomly, but then half the fun is figuring out how they can make sense. My life goals say this just says goals. Yeah, there's a few things on these pre-gen characters that haven't been filled in. <laughs> I've found that. Uh, for example, my, the, how, my housing style. hasn't been filled in. I've just got housing, and my lifestyle is oh, like. I do have a, a, a great childhood environment, though. Yeah, Jam. what have you got? Yes. In the king, once upscale neighborhood, now holding off of the boosters to uh, survive. Family yeah. crisis. Your family was killed. You were the only survivor. You see, that's that's very. I am to, oh, uh, childhood. I come from a yeah. corporate. I come from a corporate manager family yeah. background, but my family crisis is that my family was imprisoned and I alone escaped, <laughs> which would explain why I lived in the heart of the combat zone, living in a wrecked building or other squat. And had the life goals of yeah. get off the street no matter what it takes. I love these results. These are fantastic. You could you could really run with that character. And that's just a, a pre gen. That's not that's not even a character that you know we have created for a campaign. That's just what it came up with, presumably from random roles. Oh wow. I love that. And what what's your enemy? Because mine is an ex friend and uh, what caused it accused the other of cowardice or, or some <laughs> other major personal flaw. Uh, Looper, this is this is the latest iteration of um, the interlock system, which is what Cyberpunk has been all the way through from its earliest iterations. This one is closest familiarly to the Witcher RPG. Witcher and this are the two current games using this particular game system. Yep. I like the fact that my ammunition is ammunition. Yeah, yeah, there's a few bits and pieces like that that have oh, clearly they've been left for the players to fill in for themselves uh, rather than presenting the characters absolutely complete. Um, I'm assuming I've just got standard ammunition. And you have. Me that. I'm also now, however, going to take the opportunity before we restart of taking my okay. brief. Um, yep, we are heavily into Wild Talsorian territory, Looper. Uh, the Witcher. Uh, cyberpunk in all its incarnations. Uh, I have previously run Castle Falkenstein, which, although it's playing card based, essentially the core mechanic is very, very similar. And they do indeed make excellent games. So. And they're ever so nice, and uh, have hired me to write for them a couple of times. So we like our Telsoria. They are good eggs. So, how is everybody doing? Alive. You're alive. Yeah. That's that's a good start. Haven't had a nervous breakdown just yet, so yes. that's good. I've I. I, I t <laughs> No, one nervous breakdown per per session, and the GM gets priority. Thanks. <laughs> that is fair. Yeah. Well, Looper, I will be running um, uh, Cyberpunk Red when I can get a clear slot. So probably after Crimson Skies finishes. Yeah. But I will be when. If nothing else, we'll all drown. Um, <laughs> and uh, I will hopefully be taking the slot after that. I still need to find a game that I can run. Yeah. Um, so I will either I will be either allowing people to come in on that quite happily, or if people end up with their own copy of the rule books, you are more than welcome for those who've played with us before or 
that we trust um, to stream on the Hint Place channel at other times than our Sunday normal slot. Because that's it based on our I don't know how to run a game whatsoever. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, but yes, if anybody wants to learn how to GM, I realise I'm not exactly giving a shining example today. I do apologise for that. Um, then they are more than welcome to give it a go. Um, running off stream and uh, then possibly on stream once they've got the hang of it. Yeah, that's cool. I'd love to learn it one time. Okay. If you are interested in having a chat with us or just getting to know some more gamers, we do have a Discord which is there. And <clears throat> being on the Discord is the best way of possibly getting involved in a future one shot or campaign. That's pretty much most where of I was our going. players. Most of our players have been recruited that way. Yeah. That makes it sound like we were hunting them down with nets and some kind of trank gun. Oh, I said recruited. Oh, not kidnapped. Requisitioned. <laughs> Okay, uh, Robinson, I have given you control over the air drones. Yes. Yes. Why I have given you control over the air drones, but never mind, it's fine. It's all fine. So, what kind of patrol pattern are you planning on going for, Robinson? Because we're going to need maximum possible coverage to make sure that we spot these guys as early as possible, given that if they're arriving at the outskirts of the forest, they are an hour, an hour's walk away from where we're set up. I guess we're going to need to respond as quickly as possible when we see them coming. How much of the wood have they stolen in the previous ones? Because they're going to have to get it out of the forest as well. So... I mean, the obvious thing is that unless they're going for specific trees that are contained deeper into the forest they're just going to turn up and grab the ones yeah on the but they're not going to do it when like if there's a cliff there are they they're going to go somewhere that either has road access or so in other words you're saying we need to know what the terrain around the on the outskirts yeah. of the uh, forest is so that we can get an idea yeah. as to where they're likely to approach okay, from okay you... if there was road like nearby for example that yeah. they could be going to come from okay there is indeed an access road which runs along, if you think of it in terms of a top-down grid, if you go all grand strategy game on this, or even mind the strategy game, you're looking at a checkerboard of forests. Now, you weren't really high enough to get the full extent of this plantation when you came over on the helicopter, but each of the forests is a clearly demar demarcated, demarked. Hmm. A, dis a discreet distinguished yeah a discreet square they are there is a gap between each of them which certainly even if it's not um asphalt road you could definitely get vehicles down because of course they have to harvest the cooperation harvest themselves yeah and that's not always going to be from the outside in. So maybe what we should be doing is having one drone monitoring the access road and the other three on patrol in case they do come in from an odd angle. Is that is an out of character suggestion, hence the fact that I wasn't doing a silly accent. Uh, what, is, what is there information about a certain way they uh, go onto it like uh, in f previous forests is there evidence of going along the, uh, the the roads main roads or doing it the other way well all they know is they used trucks before so mm -hmm. they so, so so they basically assumption... if if there's room for a truck uh, it's their way to go mm -hmm. that's could be a useful info. as you hike through the forest you realize that though the coverage is quite great because the canopies are quite spread. The gaps between the individual trees are also <coughs> large. 
Yeah, this being neatly planted in rows rather yeah. than growing randomly like a normal forest, it's actually pretty easy to get through, I would imagine. Yeah, it is. It's designed for easy access yeah. to be harvested. I should have brought my bike. Yes, you could indeed have cycled your way through this forest. I could fairly cycle easily. through this forest to get to them in a hurry with um I doing that flashy riding with no hands on the handlebar thing with a sword in one hand and an assault rifle in the other. But no, I didn't bring it. You're not texting. Texting on your agent while riding hand free. God, no. Okay. So let me just close those windows. One thing I've discovered with Astral, it does not have the fastest response times. I've noticed this. Right. So that's your ranger station. So let's move you down. Whee! to the next map. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, indeed. You may well ooh. Yeah. May we R as well? You can R if you wish. Hmm. No Not eeks. the rest of the alphabet. No eeks, though. Where in the alphabet do you think ooh is? <laughs> well, um... <laughs> probably after, after M. Uh, after Oh, hello. I would have I would have said it was before V, personally. But When you realise you just accidentally enabled Fog of War. What? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I think that's a, a very worthy addition. Mm-hmm. Yes, the Fog of War. Cry havoc and let slip the Fogs of War. Yes, it's actually weather effects I wanted, anyway. Um, I, was, I may have been playing with the weather and visuals <laughs> i really need to learn how to use all the funky stuff that fantasy grounds unity has yeah. uh, so that we can move across mm -hmm. from classic to unity on slaughter do okay so let me just transfer everyone's characters down uh can i transfer mm -hmm. the party as a whole because that would be really really useful no it's, i can't let's do that that would be good okay. yeah. um Hang on. There, you want to be on that one. Right. So let's bring you down to. Very small people now. Hmm. See, as everybody slowly disappears, leaving Max. Oh no, Max isn't all by himself, he's moved now. I'm alone. <laughs> Yeah. You're never alone with the drone. What is indeed on? I can right. see a pirate in the corner. <laughs> I can see a chainsaw pirate. <laughs> chainsaw pirate! Look, I was testing how it worked earlier, okay? Deal with it. Does, does he have chainsaws for hands? <sighs> I have a partial vision. Oh, okay. I'm actually seeing something... Um, I'm thinking that <laughs> the frogs of war are jumping at the rivets for action. Oh, <laughs> I, I am thinking that the fog of war would be more effective if it didn't highlight where the chainsaw pirate was, even though he's in the fog of war. He's not <laughs> in the fog of war. He's off screen completely. He's off screen, Ignore but... him. I can't even see him. I can. Yeah. If you zoomed out far enough, you might. Yeah. He's quite a long way. Yeah, he's over there. So is this not the fog of war disappearing then, but actually just it taking this long to draw the map in? No, that's just that's the map. That square okay. is the whole map. Mm. But it's not a square yet. Yeah, it's no, I know. Way. But when it came in, yeah. it came in black and then gradually oh, showed it? it the sub square. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, that was yeah. that was that was just the load time, was it? That right. was just the load time. Yeah, yeah. That was, okay. That was maybe fog of war. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's it's finished loading now. Yeah, it Finally. should now be fine. Um, yeah, you can nope. see the network of access roads. Yeah, clearly we could really do with a ping on this. Um... Yeah, I haven't figured out if there's one yet. I don't think oh, you is. guys are going to sit in the fire tower. Oh my gosh, the little drones look like eyeballs. They do. They, they really, do. really They're do. They're adorable. Uh, in, in terms of a plan, are you guys sitting cool. in the fire tower or not? I, I was thinking that sitting in the fire tower seemed to be a good plan. 
Um, then I am going to be a weirdo. Central location. Yeah. Then I'm going to be a weirdo because build. in my gear I have a tent and camping equipment. Okay. Okay. Well, what I will I'm do gonna is I'm going to use it to, to locate room. myself somewhere else in the forest and be a listener inside the forest and have radio. Uh, I have a radio commu radio communicator to radio you guys if I hear something. Right. Do you think they're going to take the uh, the access road? No, but I can sit in between the forests. I, okay, I'm still on the. Um, if you know well, what I mean. Oh, I can move the drones. Cool. Very good. Because this venture station or whatever it is by the access road down there, if they do actually come in on the access road, it's going to be a far better place to be than the, the watchtower. So we've just come from possibly our best location to hold out, hold, to hold up, uh, to a different, less good location, which may not have been a plan. Can you please not move the drones around until? <laughs> Stop this playing with the drones. To test it, that's it. This is exactly how the AD and D game that I play in the week goes. I, I've, I've I've never seen it before. And uh, yeah, it's not. I'm not. It's not. This is not a criticism. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way. I've never. But it's just I've never seen it before. But the characters are running around all over the place on the map, and I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, if this was one of my games, I would be screaming at these players right now. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Okay, I have, however, got the creepy music going. The creepy wildwood music going. Thank you, Sirenscape. Did I ever tell you about the time that I actually got? Locked in Wildwood, at, like what the animal park. <laughs> it <laughs> fails to shock me, Robinson. <laughs> it, in my defence, right, I, I was young and I didn't have a watch or anything, and they let me in twenty minutes before they closed. Oh, that's not. That's not okay, ideal. That's on them. And then yeah. it was it was g getting towards winter, so it got dark and it was foggy that day. Oh, so. No. <laughs> That, that would be Wildwood, where they do indeed have things like a wild boar wandering around. Very, very close to where the people are. And good wolves. eating, wild boar. No, sorry, my mistake. Good at eating. Yes. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, like I went, when I was done and I went to leave, the, the gift shop and all the exit had been closed and locked up and stuff. So... Right, I'm going to put Max in the Firewatch Tower, then. Max in the Firewatch Tower. Um, I'm assuming that the Firewatch Tower Cheers, Mike. at the top has a good field of view and you can watch for fires from it. Uh, so he's going to be up there pretending he's got binoculars because there's none on the character sheet. Okay. <laughs> Unless I'm allowed some binoculars even though they're not on my character sheet. Would, just because it's would you like a description of the Firewatch Tower? Go on, give us a description. You know, since, since you've taken the time to come out here. Yep, we've come all the way out here. Before you naff off into the forest and decide to go and live wild with the warthogs or something. It's, it's too late, I'm afraid. Fear's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, that I, I'm back now. I came back. I came back for a second to listen it's, to the, the explanation of the Firewatch Tower. It's about an hour's hike. The site is nothing to brag about. It's conducted from uh, constructed even from fireproof materials. A lift runs up the centre, along with a ladder going to the top. In order to access the lift, you need to use the keycard. Uh, which... So we can't even get in and out without... Um, no. Uh, 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 our fixer. Uh-huh. Okay. Um... Okay, yeah. is the key card anything that I can replicate onto my uh, device? My no, it's this card. is a specific um, okay. security system set up. Basically, they can cancel that key, but if you could transfer the data onto your um, agents, that would then give you access, and they'd have to reprogram the locks. This far okay. simpler for them to simply wipe the key if you decide to wander off with it. Okay. Um, or cancel that key. So, uh, the inside of the watchtower, assuming you take the lift, is not high-tech. 
but it does offer a 360 degree view over the forest. There's a solar panel providing basic power for meteorology computers and communications for the security monitors. So from here, yes, you can indeed watch the drone feeds. Good. Uh, there's even a set of seismograph sensors reporting to a central seismograph. Ooh, now that actually might be useful. If the trucks are heavy enough, they might register. Yep. Just ramp up the sensitivity. Uh, yeah. There are a bank of hammocks, half a dozen of them, which are not the greatest, but they are plasticized fabric, wiped clean, suspended between metal hooks hanging down from the ceiling. Kind of looks like pinheads get away from home. <laughs> There are two metal folding chairs next to the computer console. Uh, there is a cupboard with, when you explore, a uh, plastic tub of freeze-dried rations. Oh, I was expecting Jaffa cakes. Jaffa cakes? <laughs> you were lucky. Uh, there isn't a sink up here. However, back down at the basement there is a rain catch basin so it's this interesting blend of wild camping and holiday home um, so basically water has to be brought up in a bucket from the rain catch basin at the bottom of the tower this is the weirdest combination of things I've ever come across <laughs> That's cyberpunk bed for yeah. you. It is a combination <laughs> of incredibly high tech and um, chunky, clunky technology that works. Yeah. Stuff that works. Okay. Um, I think it would, just out of paranoia, I think it might be nice to run a bug detection thing in. Okay. Uh, because my character does have a bug detector. So, in yeah, there. take around just the violence. Yeah, just to see, because we don't necessarily trust our employers and they don't necessarily trust us. Okay. Right then. Uh, let's have a look at what skill you would be using for that. I have no clue. I know, that's why I'm checking. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's very much appreciated. That's fine. Well, hi, Alex. I'm looking at the character sheets. Please rotate oh, the character yeah. sheet 90 degrees that way. Okay. Because otherwise I'm just going to be doing that now. Okay. So, this is going to be... Sorry. Would it be electronics or security? Tech? Yeah, it would. Sorry, my um, PDF reader decided to sit there and have a sulk. Um, I knew yeah. there were tech skills, I just couldn't get them onto the screen. Yeah, but yes, electronics my... security. Okay. My character sheet is wildly it, resizing for no apparent reason, so stop that. It, it's in the technique skills, which is the third column, bottom section. Yeah, yeah on okay. the right. Uh, third, okay. So, yeah, um, you should third, just be able to click on those. Okay, need to see... Shift that over to the other side. I, since I can't read any of the skills, um, <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, one, two, okay. three, four, five... You're the fifth one down. Yeah. It's okay, the one where the name good. fills the okay. entire box. That's the beastie. And... So, okay. yep, you've got to roll the 13. That's okay. all right. I'll just take your first one. It's fine. Oh, you only needed to click once. It's okay. Okay, sorry. No, it's fine. Um, so, it's nice that it's nice clearly reporting, so I can check. And you actually... Oh, hello. It's implying a revision penalty. Go figure. Uh, so you rolled. I think it's probably implying that that would apply to this type of yeah. role. 
if there is one in place. So yes, you rolled four. Okay. Um, sorry, you rolled nine. My apologies, and you've got four skill. Okay. So a thirteen. Uh, you can do a bug sweep, and although the security monitors beep, that is because they have Wi-Fi going out to the drones. <coughs> But that's the only signal that you can find in here, and that's only what you would expect. Actually, I take it back. It's the seismograph will beep as well. Okay, just it's good to know, just to be on the safe side. Okay, um, I feel that the wildwood noises are getting a bit sinister, to be honest. <laughs> well, we just had a wolf howl for no good reason. Yeah, the howl was not from my dogs. It was <laughs> sorry. Yes, and there's a howl. How? How? Okay. Um, yes, I have way too many windows open. That's fine. <laughs> you missed out that's a year vision penalty and was virtually affronted. <laughs> yes, sorry. <sighs> it's all fine. So, yeah. You can... Oh, well, we're randomly zooming out now, are we? Thanks for that. Yeah, Astral is <coughs> very odd. Astral's and... a bit twitchy, isn't it? I don't think it's quite ready for release or something. We um, may need to mess around time. with it further in off-stream games and see if we can learn how to use it better. That's At the moment, true. it's not proving um, easy to use. No. Yeah. Of the three virtual tabletops that I have used so far, I have found so much that um, if you aren't particularly familiar with virtual tabletops and you just want to jump in and play a game, go with Roll20 every time, it is the easiest one to pick up and use. If you want to do a long-term campaign and you don't mind putting the work in, go with Fantasy Grounds. Yep. It does so much, but it does require a lot of work on the part of the GM. Have yet to figure out where Astral is is coming in and what its strengths and weaknesses really are but it's not proving very easy to use no that that it's browser based is is in its favor but that's pretty much it unfortunately True. right so you have access to seismographs seismograph sensors which will report to a seismograph which has a map a plan map of the forest uh displayed I see a mini drone moving okay. I've not touched the mini drones no that's just astral being weird okay yeah. uh, and uh, so basically if anything registers it will display on there you assume I'm not sure how many of you have had prior experience reading seismographs <laughs> not what the, the little means. needle moves and yeah. it goes up and down and you know that means something's happening. Mm -hmm. Well, kind I think of. a physical display rather than a traditional um, yes. you know, pen and paper thing. So yeah, presumably it will give a, a some sort of a, a, a visual indication of detecting seismographic yeah. events in specific locations. Yes. So you should see, I don't know, little flashing lights or something on the edges if a big truck turns up. Yeah, what you have here is basically a Paul W.S. Anderson uh, Paul W. Anderson um, image, <gasps> overlay plan of the forest <laughs> with glowing brown lines representing the access roads, which are basically bark tracks. It's not recommended that heavy vehicles go along there, but you know, if you had a Jeep, you could probably use that. Um, obviously, Heavy vehicles can go on them because that's how they harvest. That's how they're doing it, but yeah. that's not recommended for regular tra um, travel. You don't necessarily have to access forests a lot in a hurry. Yeah. Right. So, how are you deploying your forces? You can indeed uh, look at the feeds from all four drones. which now I get to show you. I get to show you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, we have... 
Why are there... There's only four drones. Why have I got five drone feeds? <laughs> ah. Ooh. That's my eye. Pop. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna oh. take out my, my eye. No, I have a cyber eye, so technically I could. Anybody can <laughs> have still... cyber eyes. Oh. In our games, I think, I think there was at least one um, type, such model in the earlier versions of this game where yeah. you can indeed pop the eye out and use it as a, as a drone. Oh, yeah, I'm reasonably sure you can do it with one of with these um, anyway. Right. I'm not sure how much know, of the old Chrome books is going to become available in red. Well, but I'm looking nice forward. I am looking forward to Chromebook Black, which That's is going to be the first one for nice. red. Um, Okay, so if you look in the handouts section on right. the left so, hand yes, side. What you need to find handouts in this one, you click on your character portrait down in the bottom left, which brings up the player menu. That has a view handouts option. Yes. And that will list any handouts that the GM has shared with us, which in this case is drone footage one, two, three, and four. Yep. Cool. And I will show what mm. is on the monitors. If I move the drone, does the drone footage change? No. <laughs> In character? Yes. Immersion breaking. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I'm very sorry. For future reference, what I will do is I will set it up in Imperium. Clearly, yes, clearly we'll have to 3D yeah. model the entire thing for future games so that uh, yeah. Robinson yes. can have his, his accurate drone. Yes. Yeah, d I, I mean, it would work if you want to distract me from playing the game, because I'd just be yeah. flying the drones around for the whole time. time. Yeah. Yes. As I said, you're never alone with the drone. Note to self: When I run the Elite Dangerous role-playing game, just tell him what planet to go to, and we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that yeah. works. Uh, let me go back to that one so I can check it's showing correctly. So it's all very pretty, obviously. Mm -hmm. oh, you are one sense. of the drones appears to be a top-down view. Yeah, that one up is a bit high. Yeah, yeah that that drone got a bit carried away, didn't it? Yeah, sorry, it's had... really hard, like pressing forward on four drones at the same time. I accidentally pressed up on one of them. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, hello. Yeah. Let me let me expand. Drone. Drone. Stop. Ooh. Drone, please. Fine. Drone was then shrinking itself. <laughs> At least it's not enlarging itself. Don't. Yeah. How big are these drones relative to us? Uh, they are not very, as the technical term. Hang on. I've got a window attached to my mouse and it won't come off. <laughs> <laughs> I so many times well, yes, today. I had to click it again to get to um, yeah. get it to the yeah. It was. I was <laughs> considering just shaking it to get it to stop <laughs> sticking to my mouse pointer. I'd like to point out I've got 16 gigs of RAM here. Given that these are labelled mini air drones, I'm assuming they that are. one of them is red, one white, and one blue. But I don't know what colour the fourth one would be. Ouch. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, I don't know why, where yeah, that music came from, because it had nothing at all to no, do with it. No, I know, you. I know. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up and leave me alone. Uh, so, I know what page they're on. This is and the I can... Reservation Society. Oh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Anyway. Competent so, game yeah, How are you going to set up these, uh, these views? Or how are you going to set up these views? Right. Yes. You're the techie. It's nothing to do with me. I just stand around with a gun and wait for something to shoot at. I can tell you, by the way, that mm -hmm. although I can't tell you the size, leave me alone, they just don't give me that information. Mm -hmm. A mini air drone comes equipped with a very heavy pistol <laughs> with eight armor piercing bullets and, and an observation camera. Robin can say that's got a lot better. <laughs> I get toys to play with. Yes, um, they do. They could. Uh, there is an optional loadout where they can come equipped with eight poison arrows and a dart gun. Ooh. Um, but they don't. These ones. These ones have guns. 
So they do have, you know, they do have basically... The trees. Surely the poison arrows would um, be... <laughs> Now I know that they have guns and in control of Robin. I'm kind of scared to go out camping out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that is wise. Uh, perhaps I don't want to go camping. Go? I might get shot by a drone. <laughs> So my mum got followed by a drone the other day. Ended up parked her wow. about a metre ahead of her face. I don't think it had a very heavy pistol, though. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, fan it. Good point. Tier three. Tier three. You know, we're, we're one step away from Mad Max. Yep. <laughs> okay. So. Yes, you have access to heavy pistol wielding mini drones. Uh, fish, if you want access to just the description, you're looking on page 213 of the PDF. Cheers, I will look it up. Uh, for purposes of having somebody else with access to the book. These are small robots capable of independent action within an area. They can follow a target over a long distance, usually up to the perimeter of their defended site. Uh, they can also be controlled manually. When an active defence isn't being controlled, it's vulnerable to being countered using the electronic security tech skill. So they can be hacked. Um, if you had a netrunner, they would be aware of this. So, Well, you're probably all aware of it, but... Presumably what we have here is instead we've got Robins then issuing instructions to the drones rather than actively controlling them yeah. the way a netrunner would. Yeah. Yes. A netrunner can do the de facto rigging. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch, Chrono. Um, so, yes. Basically, they will patrol their quadrant left to their own devices. Okay. Do we have line of sight of the, the main entrance from here? Yes. You've got lines straight down. If you look at the map, there is straight down the road. The building just to the right of the road at the bottom of the map is the far, is the ranger station. Yeah, that's where we landed, isn't that's it? That's where you landed, yeah. Okay. And uh, I might have missed this earlier. Because Probably of not. Things, but... Uh, are the if the drones detect or the seismograph detect movement, will they issue an alert to us, or you know push a notification, or does someone have to be actively observing? Uh, certainly, the drones are set to patrol, so they will, if they detect something, they will head there. So you will see their motion changed, change. Okay. Um, the seismograph will flash up on the plan. Okay. So someone, so someone kind of needs to keep a, a general eye on the drone activity at least. Yes. At all times. Okay. Uh, as I said, Robinson can do so from his agent. Okay. Yes, my very special agent, because apparently I made it myself. Oh, yeah. I do love it sounds like someone's doing Tycho over there. Mechanical mm -hmm. keyboards for the win. Oh, yes. Yes. Right. So, um, are you setting up the drones then? If they're going to try, it's better just to leave them in their corners then, isn't it? Rather than. Does that on mean the road. you're going to take your drone back? Well, we can see down there anyway. I only moved it as a test. Well, move it back then. <laughs> Does it teleport for you, or do you actually see it move? It teleports. No, it teleports. They just move really fast. Yep. And they probably fly along the roads, to be honest, and then just patrol between the trees. Mm. In a really strange way. I do have a tiny criticism of the map. I have quite a big criticism. What's the problem? We mm -hmm. had it described to us as being um, a carefully cultivated forest in... Yeah. A grid pattern. Yeah. The map isn't. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I went with the picture from the side. Leave me alone. <laughs> it is, however, carefully cultivated. 
and yes. you can tell it's been harvested yes, because it, uh, you've got different. It drinks tea from bone china and puts its pinky out. <laughs> Yes, and a quick reminder, um, although I notice Looper has been on it, if you would like to enter a draw to win a copy of Cyberpunk Red in PDF, in PDF. Uh, whisper hint underscore plays, enter, and I will draw that at the end of the so, right, that's game. Whisper, enter as the message to hint plays this channel. <laughs> I just didn't think you were very clear. Sorry. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, how are you setting up your ambush? How are you deploying your forces? What are you doing? I well, feel you I guys were going in the watchtower. Looking down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what mm -hmm. the elders are doing, but I kind of want to camp out there instead of being in the, on a, in a uh, watchtower, probably, who is, which is overlooking the trees instead of looking underneath the shore. It is indeed overlooking the trees, because the uh, it's, mm -hmm. it is a fire watchtower. Well, the yeah. idea being yeah. it is designed to, you know, see to smoke. Looking and, smoke and flame. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. kind of looking at the others like, what's a good place to set myself up to have a good, good a proper view other than your view? Um, mm -hmm. okay. to keep com communication between uh, each other. Right. Well, this is going to be the only place with a really good view, but it is yeah. furthest away from possible points of vision. Yeah, but it is a sure. centralized location as well. It is. It, it, well, it, it has a good view possible. over the road, but we probably, they are not going to Probably not gonna pass the ranger station. So, what are you proposing to be a good ambush site? For them? Yeah. But, but I, I don't think we can ambush them because we don't know where they're from. Yeah. Well, in the sense of I'm, I'm gonna camp that, camp there. Uh, I'll come off. Uh, I, I can just mm -hmm. put my tent up there, be quiet, and if they come in, I can hear them come in or see them come in. Maybe. If Honestly, I think possible we can Honestly, Sorry, Maybe Fish, I didn't catch around that. Here. I don't know if that's a good spot. I think we should stay together. Because if we split up, then you know, we're all over the place and we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. We can't coordinate. Whereas if we stay together, we can coordinate what we're doing. Yes, and although uh, we're... Sounds like yeah, for, although we're distant from all of the entrances, or from the entrance, we are centrally located here, so at least we can we can uh, reach wherever they do attack reasonably easily. Okay. And we can we can rely on Orion to tie them up using drones while we get there. Mm -hmm. Right, you can keep them busy, How pin them down with the drones there? until we get there and finish them off. Beg pardon? Mm -hmm. They, um, drums or use some EMP things. You're making the assumption that they come with the equipment for the EMP grenades. Yeah. I but, mean, um, if we do, I feel them like they in. gotta be prepared for some kind of uh, resistance, maybe because they all, all well know this is a corporate thing. Actually, but... he's got a point. They might be prepared to deal with drones because of these drones. Yeah, you know, they were here before us. Presumably, the other forest had drones, and even if, if they did operated they by a demon happen. rather than a um, a human controller, they're presumably uh, programmed to deal with intruders. And if they didn't have the drones, they probably would take out the point first before attacking it in a night. So they see the drones right now, kind of in that sense. Well, if they are staking out, then no one's seen them yet. Yeah, Biotechnica really aren't pretty good employers. They should have given us more information on previous attacks. If the drone, if they took out, if if the pirates took out the drones on previous attacks, they should have let us know that so we knew what we were dealing with. If they'd taken out the drones on previous attacks, maybe they would have let you know them. And if the drones didn't do anything, then what the bloody hell point is they're having them? What the point I'm making they've got, is maybe they got drones have... over it. Hey, um, Orion, take a look at controls, will you? See what the demons set up uh, for. If if you weren't here giving them instructions, what would these drones actually be doing? That's a fair point. 
Okay. Uh, Do skills for this? That's the question. We haven't yeah, got this is something I need to roll for. <laughs> uh, you will be rolling on the security tech. Um, on technique. Let me maximise my thing so I can. Fifth one down on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Electronic <laughs> security tech. This one. I clicked it. Did it do something? Yeah. Jesus! Yes, it did. It rolled a 24. Okay, that, that sounds like it was a pretty good well, roll. Well, you critted. Um... <laughs> that is... Yeah, yep. that technically you get to roll again, because uh, yep. that's exploding thing. So I, I clicked so the crit roll. the d10 then. and enter it. Yeah. So a total of 32, by my reckoning. Yep, that would do it. That's probably good enough, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Most things. D10 plus 14. Your skill's four. Your skill is not 14. Ah, uh, did it already? Oh, hang on. Yes, it is. That's your base. My apologies, my, because that's the stat versus yeah. the skill. Yes, because that's something you're very, very good at. So yes, 32. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you uh, have a poke around in the settings. And if they are triggered, by unauthorized entrance. They are designed to image, uh, to send images back, stills of their uh, targets, and then to open fire in a deterrent I, fashion. I do not like to contradict, but many air drones are apparently equipped with a gun, a dark gun, or an observation camera. If these ones have guns, the description that you have just... Oh, my apologies. The behaviour that you have just given Sorry. indicates they have the cameras instead. Yes, my apologies. They do have the cameras. My apologies, I misread that. So we don't have... You don't have guns. Guns on them, we just... Oh, okay. You so just they... have the cameras. My apologies. Yeah. I misread that. No, that's, down, that's on me. I mean, that... presumably they must have a camera for purposes of being able to fly around, yes. or sensors of some kind for purposes of being able to fly around. But they're not, you know, for sending images back, that would be requiring the observation camera, yeah. I assume. Yes. Logically. <coughs> so it's, it's if a target enters the area without wearing a proper pass or a badge. Yeah. Is their standard trigger. So uh, you it's have been... worrying since we weren't given passes or badges. Yeah. We'll be given badges that you just didn't mention. Yes. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Yes. I'm glad that I would be if I still thought that they had guns. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still getting my head around the game as a whole. I have been through the book a few times. And by the way, I can confirm the physical book is a thing of beauty. It is a lovely thing of beauty, yes. Having seen Drat's copy of it, it's awesome. It is. You could also use it to choke an elephant. It's huge. <laughs> or to bludgeon small creatures to death. Yes, it's heavy. There is a lot of it, and it's really good. In fact, should the dark future arise within the next uh, couple of months, anybody who's already bought the physical copy of um, Cyberpunk Red will probably be able to use it to deflect bullets as some, <laughs> as some kind of protective shield. <laughs> good to know. Right, so... Okay, so yeah, basically it will send back stills of the people it spots. Sorry. <laughs> So we have well, in that drones. case, yeah. we can't rely on the drones to tie oh, them up until we get there. No. We are... the yeah, it's going to be a problem. Um, like kamikaze drones. I mean... Without well, better I, information... I feel, on... Sorry, I feel safer with having some boots on the ground instead of ground iron on the yeah. ground and all them by themselves. Without better information on where the pirates are likely to attack from, I honestly think we've got an impossible job here. Because at mm -hmm. best, by being in the centre, we are an hour away from the point that they're going to turn up, based on the, the information yeah. we have. That's why I was proposing to be like a minute or ten away from you guys. Yeah, but then, then we can leave ourselves in a position where one of us can respond to any incoming okay. attack. But not rely on reinforcements for two hours from anyone else. Yeah. Well, two hours from the person furthest away, probably an hour or so from the other two. Uh, that's not a um, 
it's not a workable situation. We really need to know where they're coming from so that we can make a move against them. We are relying on the idea that we will see them coming and that they will be busy for some time chopping down trees. Yes. Okay, can we send the drones, instead of stationing them within quadrants, can we send them around in the perimeter so we get a hopefully a better view both inside the perimeter and for a distance outside? So you want them actually orbiting? What if we stationed the yeah. drones in some really obvious places but left a hole? Ooh. I like that. It's an interesting idea. Um, it depends how competent the guys who are attacking are. Mm -hmm. oh. I kind of get it, yeah. If you might... If you mm -hmm. uh, close off the back side of the forest, so to say, mm -hmm. behind the watchtower, and left a hole near the entrance where the ranger station is. I'd do the opposite, to be honest, because the ranger station mm -hmm. is already technically a security feature that they're going to be aware of. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, there are surveillance likely. cameras at the ranger station. I'm, I'm kind of thinking the opposite to you guys at the moment. I'm kind of thinking that maybe our best bet is to almost forget about the drones altogether and just assume that they are going to come in on the access road and just camp out ready to ambush them at, at the ranger station, essentially. That's an assumption you can make. Can I make a reason? Is it reasonable to assume or can I even find out by looking <laughs> at the <laughs> information that we have available to us uh -huh. here? Is that the only gate in? No, there are no... Apparently, this area is not fenced. That's ridiculous. Not fenced. <laughs> oh, for God's and, sake. So they've got four about... people to protect this huge, unfenced area. <laughs> <laughs> and they expect oh. us to succeed. Yep. <laughs> they are paying no. you, you know... I, I, I feel like it's giving it the right? money back and going home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, yeah. This is why it's basically you saying here you have a forest of a, of a one by one kilometer, and just there's one unicorn inside the forest. <laughs> <laughs> just try, try not to let people <laughs> yeah. capture that thing. <laughs> what we have here is a massive stack of needles. We'd like you to find this piece of hay in the middle of it. <laughs> kind of. I just would like yeah. to know who decided this was an hour's hike because I'm not convinced. Doesn't, doesn't look, look that like big. Doesn't, um, look, doesn't look anything yeah. like that. Bit. Maybe it's an Thinking hour's hike. I can go in an hour. Yeah, maybe yeah, it's right. an hour's hike for someone who's very unwell. An average, well, we... an, av an average person can go about three miles in an hour. Yeah. That's not three miles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it, but we're all city people, though, mostly. Well, except for the nomad. So this is true, but you're still, you know, yeah. potentially cycling Trips. around Night City. This is true, but um, you know, we don't know. Well. It may not be a terribly flat. Terrain does make a difference. Oh, terrain does indeed make a difference. Yes. It does. Mm. So, yeah. I was like for a night and yeah, fair. <laughs> um, right. So, decision time, kids. Yeah. What are you doing with the drones? Are you deploying anything unpleasant? Are you deploying the, yourselves? Put the drones in a way that you think is logical, Robin. And we kind yeah. of get feedback on it. Yeah, I like the your idea of leaving a gap, an obvious gap in security, but not too obvious, um, so that they would realize that it was. Hopefully Are we yeah, working under the assumption they're going to come from the front? I don't know. If you, you can also assume that that's uh, uh, an eye on the forest, so I will you tell you, that... I know where they're coming from. And of course you do. Change. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to run there. That doesn't help. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, no, what I mean is I will not be deliberately manipulating the direction they come from to screw or not screw any plans you may make. <laughs> okay, so in that case, no, in that case, but I do have, and sorry if this seems confrontational, I do have one key question. I don't want to know what it is. But is there actually any way we can know how, where they're coming from and be able to ambush them? 
depends what the range on the seismograph is. Uh, we're still an hour away. We monitor the seismograph from the centre. I think you're getting too hung up on the hour. I think having looked at it, I think we can clearly say, if, especially if you stick to the roads, it's not going to be that long. Okay, if you're allowing it to get there quicker than that, then that yeah. changes things dramatically, yes. Yes. Maybe it was an hour from one really? side to the other. I, th I think possibly it was just written in as an hour, and I'm not convinced it actually is. Yeah. An hour in high heeled shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Jurassic World, I know it's easy. <laughs> So I'm not changing at all then from my original thing, which was I'm in the the fire tower, waiting okay. to discover where they're coming in. Um, so I'm hoping <laughs> somebody's watching the seismograph. I mean, in that case, I'm watching the seismograph. I will watch the seismograph, but I was watching physically and hoping somebody else would monitor the seismograph. Okay. <laughs> if if. It is an hour or thirty minutes from the fire tower to the uh, to the sides. I will still stick with. I'm not going to sit in the fire tower because I'm not going to see anything from there. The scale on this map would be nice. It would. It very yes. much would. So Definitely. I'm I'm kind of still sticking. Like I'm going to be a bit a little bit outside of the fire tower, like I'm now, and in my tent just to have some ears on the ground. Human ears, not drone ears. True. No, no, they're air drones, not ear drones. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. I mean, if I just sit there in a in a tent, being quiet at all and all, I won't be spotted that easily. I'm kind of inclined to leave sort of the left side about any drones. I can go there if you if you make a gap there, and then I can go more yeah. to the left. I don't I don't know why it's just the. <laughs> I'm basing this off I'm picture, gonna be but like... the, the top road has a tree in the way and the, the left road doesn't. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm gonna be there. <laughs> that's the only... That, that's the... Uh... Right. I'm, I'm Pretending actually, this I map is like indicative of actually what's going on. So, you know that they attack at night? Yeah. They so, come at, mostly. They come mostly at night, yes, thank you. So, deploy your drones. Do I'm it. a professional moving drones now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move that up slightly rather than down. And I'll leave that one where it is. Right. So, uh, we've got. Presumably, uh, Molly, you are monitoring the seismograph if uh, yes. Max is on binoculars duty. Yes. I'm sure there must be binoculars here. Yeah. Right you know those fixed, yeah. those fixed ones oh, that are on the pivot? Ah, brilliant. Perfect. Oh, okay. Uh, do I, do I have to put a, a coin in before they work? <laughs> That's what I'm used to. Welcome to the corporate executive <laughs> biotech. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, the, are the binoculars going to be of any use at night, though? It's other than looking for binoculars light. are really good at night, actually. They're quite commonly used by people uh, because what a binocular what binoculars do is they amplify essentially. They focus the light, so you get more light reaching your eyes. Not only does this let you see things that are further away in daytime, but at night you can actually see better by looking through binoculars because more light more light reaches your eyes. That is. A okay. genuine thing. People do do that. Okay, good to know. Right. So, uh, we will therefore spin on to that. And I, I presume there are also there. leaves on the ground and stuff. There is also the vague possibility that I might see the headlights of the trucks. So, um, there is, yes, also the vague possibility. So it being night might not be that big a deal. Yeah. Since so. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of asking, like, uh, if there leaves on the ground, since then I can kind of, kind of camouflage my tent. Darkness Ooh. falls. Darkness Ooh. falls. Darkness. 
Respected goggles with dynamic lighting. Yeah. Darkness hasn't really fallen though, because I'm seeing the dynamic lighting from all the air drones. <laughs> With the result that most of the forest is still there. Yes. Which we don't get any dynamic lighting from the ranger station. Pretty well. That's the thing. That's a good point. If it's dark, we can figure the scale out. I... Because it tells us what the vision range on our characters are. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've got a 30 meter vision range on my character, which means Same. that I can figure out what 30 meters is if I move um, Max into the darkness. Okay, Wait, I will re enable the I... uh, dynamic lighting then. 30 meters is like. <laughs> and see me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this is 60 meters across. Does well, though, doesn't it? This yeah. is the, the whole circle, circle width is 50 meters, <laughs> so it's like 60, it's 120 meters ish. Yeah, this, this, I feel <laughs> the description and the map I, I, were, I feel were done by two different people. In, there may be some flaws yeah. involved. Here. I mean, 120 meters that's a little more than a soccer field, football field. Yeah. Yeah. It's a relatively small area, after all. That makes our job a lot easier. Right. So, yes, that is basically the area that you have visibility on due to the drones. Uh, obviously, you hit the edge of reality at the, edge, at the edges of the forest. Yeah. Beyond which there is a privacy field um, because the other trees are all kind of stripped bare. And uh, you, you know, there's a 18 filter. Uh, so that, that's where the resolution starts dropping off. <laughs> Look, you, you can have your resolution dropping off any time you like. Right. Oh, God, it is not supposed to be this hard work. What were you <laughs> expecting? I have no idea what I was expecting. I, I really to bet that nine out of ten people who have uh, run this already or will be running this within the next, say, month... Don't have to put up with you, Lord. ...are going to... Pretty much <laughs> jump almost straight to the fight. Yes. Yes. And leave all the tactical planning part out. Probably, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quick play. So I do like the dynamic lighting. I do like that I can set this to night. I like dynamic oh, lighting. Oh, why does it keep turning the dynamic lighting off? It's not turning I it off. I need to play with it in Fantasy Grounds. Is it not turning it off for you lot? It's turning it off for me. I'm seeing dy dynamic lighting. Uh, yeah, it's plenty of dynamic lighting here. It's probably turning it off for you so that you can see it when it turns on. It, yeah. So, is and it, then it goes back it, to GM mode so that you can see everything. This is true. This yeah. is true. I remember it. everything. Right. And I am sharing party vision so that uh, you can all see what everybody can see. So. I assume that was uh, the case, since I can see everything that the drones can see. Indeed. Oh, good grief. There's me flicking through the PDF of the rule book, and I've just hit upon the Hello Kitty Sanru handgun. I love that, yeah. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> so adorable, they'll bleed pink. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I love the in-book ads in this. It is amazing. Those are a wonderful touch, yeah. They are. They really, really are. I adore them. This game is great. I just found a typo. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Sipper. Right. Sipperunk. Oops. Yes. My favourite is still the peedware. Yeah. <laughs> Which they did fix. Okay. Um... Right, let me just bring that back up. Okay. So, you've deployed your drones. Night has come. I know he's in chat. Yeah. <laughs> so, you were ahead of me. Yeah. Okay, so for the benefit of the tape. Okay. 
As it arrived, you fool. <laughs> That's all I have to deal with. Okay. So I'm watching out for, watching out for headlights. You're watching out for headlights. We've got uh, the fixer on the seismograph. And we've got, presumably, uh, Amayan watching the drones. And fire out there under a tent, singing mm. campfire songs whilst roasting an unfortunate mouse. <laughs> Trying not to burn the forest down. Try, yeah, please don't burn the forest down. <laughs> please, please. Uh, you will be deducted. <laughs> I didn't mention this, did I? <laughs> we are going to be the cyberpunk equivalent of the dirty pair. We will technically complete the mission. But destroy everything in the process. Yes. Yes. You will get charge damages. I hate to have to say it. Okay. So, uh, around 10 p.m., it is dark outside the Firewatch station. And apart from the little floating beams of light that you know belong to the air drones little floating eyeballs <laughs> and the seismograph starts going bonkers it's a very sensitive seismograph it is no it is not picking up on fire nor is it picking up on the air drones displacement of air <laughs> there's a butterfly's wing beat in the state over yes okay so in that case, thank God we're on this side of the planet. There'll be a tornado on the other. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like me to... Sorry. Would you like, please, Molière, to make me a uh, security tech, electronic security tech? This is why I'm not looking at the seismograph. Yeah, because you're not very good at it. You're good at the shooting at Bang Bang. Old people. They're not pitching up in the Thunderbird. It's the Underminer! Yes. Oh, it's clearly they've got a big drilling machine and they're just going to come up from underground. How are you doing, Molly? I love the drill thing. Thunderbirds. Did it ever get a proper name? Or was you it? are. No. It's the mole. Thing. Was it the mole? Yeah. What are you looking for, uh, Maya? Yep. That, that was my favourite toy of my fundamental. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's Pickpocket. That's Max as well. I don't know quite what Max is up to. Oh, I must have clicked accidentally when I was zooming in. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> while Molly is concentrating on the seismograph, <laughs> Max is <laughs> <laughs> pickpocketing some. Uh, I, I, some I, I'm getting the impression we're not going to get paid for this, so I'm just trying to get my. Uh, it might be from the other he, player. He's just, he's just nabbing some cookies out of someone's pocket. Yeah, I haven't okay, actually told well, you what the toilet facilities are, but you know. Okay. Well, yeah, I had been trying to ask what number it was because I can't sorry. read any of the things on the okay, screen. Okay, yeah, it's the same and... skill that you rolled last time. I'd Sorry, you must have been muted. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was, and then I tried to sorry. turn it off, and then it didn't work, and then... Oh, and then, because I clicked... Yeah, basically, yeah. I hate this. I hate astral. This is that's I'm, fair. That yeah, is fair. Um, because it's it tells me that I've rolled and then okay. it tells I, I, me that I haven't. Um, yeah. Okay. For is it future the fifth reference. One? Yep, it's yeah. the same. It's the fifth one down. Okay. Yeah, same as one you've rolled before. Okay. And I am that's nine. okay. Okay. Theoretically, that's it. Okay. Okay. No Did it work problem. this time? Yeah, it worked fine. Yeah. Okay. It worked fine. Good. It worked twice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Don't See, worry. Yeah, it I doesn't work, so and then it works twice. I am terribly the, the sorry. Best thing oh, is, no, it's not you. I'm, I'm just... Oh, wait. I think it's to keep it's, the chat uh, open, because the, the, the chat window um, is where all the roles come up. Yeah. So yeah. If, it's, if it's not open for you at the moment, in the top right, it, it's a little speech bubble uh, thing. Yeah, that it is. the chat. 
Yeah, it is open. It's just when I have my character sheet open, I can't see. You can't see it. Yeah. Fair that's, enough. That is so, understandable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I can't need anything on Okay. Uh, it's Sorry. showing quite wide patches of disturbance initially, and oh. it's hard for you to get a really good line on. However, you can direct in general terms uh, Max on the binoculars Max on the binoculars ding 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 sorry um, it's only in a weird out. version of um, tubular bells <laughs> binoculars yes. oh great now I want to hear tubular bells played on the binoculars okay uh, really that's not where they come in No, it isn't. That's wrong. The description Fuck does it. not match. The description well, does that, not match. That comes as a huge shock because everything so far in this has been absolutely picture perfect. It, <laughs> it is worth mentioning that according to the write-up, one of them comes in from the east and the other one comes in from the northeast. What actually happens is one comes in from the southeast and the other one comes in from the west. Oh, so the map is quite young. Unexpected yeah. development. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, placing those. Which basically means we put everything kind of in the right place. You actually didn't do badly, to be fair. And good night, night. Shooting at Bang Bang, cousin of Sultry McSwinson. <laughs> right. So, what... Up. Yeah. So, what you can see is share with players so if you look in the handouts you now have two drone footage trucks do we mm. <sighs> new handouts drone footage truck yes when that's what I just said whoa it looks like a truck yep it does is that a truck? Oh, a truck? It looks like a camper van to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the camper van. You clearly to haven't played enough be uh, fair, truck Rick, simulator. Um, it's true. I am not a fan uh, so far. I know, the top-down yeah. view looks like a truck. I'll give yeah. Oh, right, now okay, I'm yeah. seeing the truck in the other view. Now that I'm seeing the top-down one, yes. I'm figuring out, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So it is, it's uh, an American-style long-nosed cab. Um, with a slightly weird, um, oh, you know, the, the, the bit where you sleep at the yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. What it is, is those are ahead of great, great long flatbeds at the back, which are yeah. so not appearing on camera. Basically, they are loggers' tr trucks. They are logger lorries. That's not something I want to say again three times fast. Um, yeah, Rig. We have had issues with Astral. It's okay yeah. in many ways, and it's got some nice features, but it's being quite clunky, and, and it's, it's not great for how it handles the character sheets. But we do need to have a bit more of a play with it for off-stream. This is true. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just exasperated. No, earlier. it's, it's <laughs> entirely understandable. It is entirely understandable. Um, certainly, I think, for playing, I think, Fish, your idea of uh, more coring it is probably uh, so, a better idea. So far, I think the best bet for the actual campaign, yes, is going to be to use Fantasy Grounds and more core, unless a uh, somebody does a, a decent fan rule set, yeah. which would probably just be an extension to more core anyway, if they do. Yeah, much like the Witcher one is. Okay, so yes, you can see these drones. So, or are they? Yeah, but you are warned, you are alerted that they are coming, there are disturbances in those directions. And as you focus your drones on them. I can't actually disturbance. I was so hoping nobody was going to say there's a disturbance in the forest. Sorry. I was hoping, I, I, I didn't say. I'm now, I'm now waiting for the Ewoks to come out. 
Yeah. yeah. You find our lack of of not punning disturbing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's some big artillery. Hmm, okay. I was a GM player without the finish. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Right. Let's not. Oh, sorry. I'm just. Oh. Sort of, I'm now. I'm now inadvertently playing with the Sirenscape. I do apologise. So. Hmm. Mm. Let's go with that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. Right. Okay. So, you are going to tell me what you're going to do. What you going to do? You have two um, trucks come in on opposite sides of the plantation. Yeah. Mm. So that's what was it again? East and west. I guess the drones kind of end their usefulness there. Uh, I, I, I forgot mm -hmm. for a second. East and west, you said, right? Yeah. Northwest, southeast. Do we have comms? Can we actually yes. communicate with one another? Yes, we do have, have wireless comms. comms. That's yes. what I said. Yeah. <laughs> if you That's why we were out there. And one radio is not much good. <laughs> yeah. What you is have that a radio. Good for like you. Those I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit there and use a radio communicator yeah. for you guys to say what I'm seeing. What, what you don't know is Fire's just sat there going, So, welcome to uh, the deep forest after dark. <laughs> Radio We're going to be uh, interviewing some squirrels and <laughs> asking what they do with their nuts. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, one, one person with a radio is not fresh to be used. Okay, like, uh, <laughs> some old Gaelic lore tills. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, you're quite happy that an attack's happened because um, she's moving on to her third uh, set of uncles and what they got up to when they went to a wedding in Ulster. So, um, right. Right. This may be a bad plan, but uh -huh. I suggest that you and Fear go deal with one truck, and I'll go deal with the other one, and Orion can coordinate from middle using drones to keep an eye on what's happening. Keep us informed, you know, let us know where the people we're, we're fighting are so they don't re flank us, anything like that. But if we concentrate on one truck, the other one's going to get what they want and leave. So we're going to have to hit both. Right. I get to be the man in the chair. You do indeed get to be the man in the chair. You are indeed the man in the chair. We've got combat music and everything. I mean, admittedly, it's supposed to be in a club, but close um, enough. And just a general idea, since you know they are there, you can move, maybe move, have more eyes on those two XR locations. Right, so... Which are drones. Yeah, yeah, move two drones to each location and... Hmm. You're going to send yeah, two drones, into drones the Give us the right information. Right, so who is going where? Sorry, I had four windows up and I was trying to sort something we, out. Well, we hadn't actually decided who was going in which direction, but mm -hmm. nobody seemed to disagree with the idea that um, Fixer and Fear were going to go for one truck and okay. Max was going to go for the other truck. I mean, it makes sense. The, right, right, right. the solo is better able to handle one on his own than. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, horror, the I solo agree. is better. Solo. Yeah. Why didn't you call him Han? I did consider it. I did consider <laughs> it. <laughs> Even Fishy has standards. If I'd known how many Star Wars gags we were going to make during the course of this, I would have done, obviously. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, so I get to play with the initiative tracker now. Hooray! There is an Ooh. initiative tracker, isn't there? Is there good, good. is. I have difficulty finding it. There is a. Uh, it's, I uh, the, the downward arrows next to your character. Uh, yeah, that, that will roll initiative for you. Uh, the the, the, the hotkeys have been set up, presumably based on the character, for different skills. Most Mostly mine are weapon skills. But the first one is the initiative <clears throat> roll, and that will roll initiative. Um, I have an archery skill. Well, there you go. If you had an archer, <laughs> it's nothing to do with shooting bows and arrows. By the way, your archer is even an like you skill of making arches. Yes, <laughs> you just build them as a hobby. Uh, 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 we're in a forest, right? You know, trophy is a kind of a thing. I like the question. We are in a forest, right? I'm sorry. Have you skipped out on the previous two hours of gameplay? <laughs> None of that was important. He wasn't paying attention. Oh. 
by the way, fish. Uh, there I was typically playing with these drones. Oh, there is, is there? Where's the ruler hiding? Uh, if you press on the, 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 the arrows in the right thing where the chat also is, you see uh, shortcuts and one says active, active ruler. Ooh. Press an old shift while hovering up, uh, over a point on the map, then move point to measure distance. Select multiple characters is there as well, but for when you want to get the whole party. Is there? Um, yeah. Cool. So they reload. It's, uh, well, it's control and then click and drag. To ah, pull. okay. Right, so I have the initiative tracker up, so yeah. can please everybody roll? Ah, and we can double click, will give us effectively the equivalent of ping by the same. Damn, sound. that actually works pretty well. Oh, okay. So Is that just... just a double click or control double click? Yes, double click will ping. There we go. Look at that. We can get a ping. It's not a very impressive ping, oh. but that may be down to the way I've got my settings. Um... It actually works pretty neat, the ruler. Cool. And yeah, so we could have we could have known how big this thing was from the beginning because we have you checked cool. which did you need for the ruler? It's shift for the ruler, and then drag. But it. Seems a bit. Oh, that's better. That won't start. You have to start somewhere, press shift, and then drag. It's a hundred meters from where you started. Can I? Can I argue oh. the distance? We are, we are pretty much no. I I I'm measuring it at 114. Okay. So that, yeah, so close enough. 120 that was yeah, estimated. Yeah, we were estimating yeah. that. Is uh, pretty good. I knew that yeah. wasn't it. Said that. Well done. So yes, it's the the map is about 120 meters. No way is that an hour. So six, and plus it was only sixty meters because yes. we were only going to the middle. Uh, yeah. so apparently, one, one, we're going to a meter a minute. Yeah, one, <laughs> one, one, one meter a minute is like ten seconds or something. Yeah. No, no, that definitely one meter a minute is that is what a human being can do. <laughs> Please, could you roll initiative? <sighs> yeah, we can do that. I'm sure we can do that. Initiative. Sake. I think my biggest problem is the delay because this is yeah. such a slow start. The, the delay is bad. That is something yeah. that I think we are really going to need to fix. Yeah, so. I don't know if I'm doing the wrong thing or if it's the delay. And half the time you click on something, yeah. and it doesn't seem to work, and then yeah. you click another. Two, one or two times before it finally comes up with all three of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. It's not just me. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry, but no, it's no. not just you. It I, is very not just you. I have to be honest. I don't have any issues with it yet. Ah, weird. For me, for me, the site really runs smoothly, actually. What browser were you uh, using? Uh, Firefox. Oh, okay. Browser is me. I'm. When I tried it earlier on Chrome, it was fine, and uh, but then when you said that you were having problems yeah. with it in Chrome, As I, said, I had problems thoughts. with Chrome. I'm not saying, uh, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. If we'd had more time to to experiment with it, I'd have said, yeah, try it on Chrome and see how it works. But I didn't uh, want uh, it, I just, to go just wrong while we were trying to stream. Yeah. And yeah, for me, I stuff go wrong when we giving me stream. the chat at all on Chrome. It just wouldn't open the chat. No. Since everything, like the die rolls, all come up in chat, that's not very helpful. Come on. My life is ending here. We don't have the trucks. Oh, oh yes, we do. We do. Yeah, I've just spotted one. Um, if you wish to move the drones, that will, of course, change the fog of war to show the areas where the trucks are. That's making it easier for you to find where you're going. Oh, that's that's you, uh, Robin. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Drunk. Because we've got a truck over here. You can move the drones to the location where the trucks are. Oh, you uh, want me spotted. to move the drone? Okay, because I, I, I was going to ask, like, are we going to worry about movement speed or anything for the drones? Don't worry yeah, about move. movement speed. It's not that big. Okay. It's a, it's a field of 120 meters, so that's not big. No. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, come on, where is initiative? Hmm. 
I really want to be able to yeah, right that, click that, roll initiative. Does it. For example. Cyberware, not interested in crits. Okay, fine, we'll just do a reflex. Okay, I'm actually going to flush my my ram because this is getting ridiculous. Oh dear. Um, I literally can't see anything. It's leaking. It is. Quite possibly. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, it's using fifty nine percent of my ram. Oh. That seems like a lot of it. She's given that I have sixteen gigs. I'm using 33%. Mm. I have 24. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, how do you do that in Windows again? Uh, that's... I actually use an app for it, so... Yeah. Control, oh, okay. I'll control, delete, and that's CPU, right? That's for me about okay. 60. Ah, uh, task manager. Okay, yeah. right. Thank you. Um... I use about 60%, <laughs> and I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. I think I have either 16 or 32 of RAM and, ah, let's see. Yeah. Well, it uses about 20% yeah. of my uh, GPU, that's also a thing. Okay. Memory Yeah, yeah 32 gig. Oh, thank God I can put manual ones in. Right, fine. Screw you all. Yeah. Um, Firefox <laughs> is using, between the two windows I've got open, one of which is my character sheet, Firefox is using about a gig of um, my RAM. Yeah. Yeah, I've... I've got, out of my 32 gig, I, uh, basically half of it is in use, and and I'm still having problems. Yeah. See, they they came in on that uh that left that left road because there wasn't a tree blocking the way. Yep. Like you said. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. So, we have initiatives, finally. <laughs> yeah, we've got Chrono playing bard and uh, keeping a lot of morale up. I am really, really sorry, by the way. I have done my research on Astral. I had played around with Astral a bit. Yes. But yes. I hadn't played around with Astral with the scenario in, put in it. Yeah, it, it's a big yeah. difference actually playing running a scenario to just poking at the uh, thing. Yeah. I've found both the old 20 and fantasy rounds as well. Yeah. Yes. And and then dealing with with us. <laughs> as yeah, we don't help do it. Well, at least I don't help. I do either. So, That's fine. Yeah. As we... much as much as anything, this is a brand new game. Um, I've read it. Um, I've read the war mm -hmm. books for a couple of times. But, of course, the players haven't. So... I have. Well, like this, well, except we? for the bits that you, you told me not. Yeah, the, which technically is this scenario. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. yeah, most of the players hadn't, and they weren't familiar with the setting beforehand. Yeah. So, let's... Uh, who right, so we're in fight. So, Chainsaw Pirate fight, fight, number fight, one. Fight, fight. Who is the guy hiding behind... I, I don't oh. think, you know, honestly, Chainsaw Pirate number one is probably good enough. I don't think we need to know that his name is Guy Hiding Behind. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's basic DM, DM advice there. Uh, people behind. don't tell players things that their characters cannot know. Aww. You done? Yeah, I'm done now. Good. <laughs> right, so he is going to. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so, yes, a one of the chainsaw-wielding bastards is going to hop off the western truck and uh, fire up his tool and head over towards a large 
tree which if you'd listen to the rep when you were at the ranger station you might be able to identify it was um that what you may call it thingy it's it's yeah um i remember there was some mahogany but i can't remember other than that <laughs> i remember dna was involved that's uh, yeah it's got it's got a patent and stuff i love you yeah. guys i really do it's tree me tree me tree, me tree face yeah. Yeah. We're streamers, not streamers, okay? Uh huh. Right, okay, he's. Uh, so, oh no, that's. Oh, right, Can I start okay. a new hobby, tree spotting. Found it. Okay, so it is SMG Pirate 1, so. Whoa, that one doesn't have a chainsaw. I, I prefer chainsaw pirate. I definitely prefer <laughs> chainsaw pirate. <laughs> What, SMG pirate, you find with that. SMG pirate, yeah. yeah. Okay, a guy hops out of the cab and readies a rifle. Sorry, Not readies, an SMG. A, readies an SMG. <laughs> I wanted to say, like, that's different. <laughs> so if SMG pirate has a rifle, then Chainsaw pirate probably has an axe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Or a better knife. Dear Siri, what's the best way to never make Drop want to run this game who's, ever, ever? Who's again? next in the initiative then, Drop? Oh. If that guy's done. Chainsaw Pirate 3. That implies there is a Chainsaw Pirate 2. There he I'm does. A pattern with these Chainsaw Pirates. <laughs> pattern that I'm seeing is that they're all getting better initiatives than us. They're, they all got really quite good initiatives. It's quite impressive. I, they were all all by draft <laughs> and we are toast. No, I did yeah, not. there's BDSM pirates too. <laughs> Short says I, I ordered an FSM pirate. <laughs> the chainsaw is actually for some really intense play. <sighs> Do they have an eye patch though? Arr. 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 Um, <laughs> those are the chainsaw stuff. I'm not going there. No, no, no. don't go there. They also have they also have a coloured contact underneath, so they can do this whole grand from moving the eye patching to unleash them. <laughs> Apparently, it's Max's turn. It is now Max's turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Green has just told me it's Max's turn. Right. Uh, I'm going to take a. Yep, I was. Yeah, the mouse over told me that if I put, if I clicked on that little arrow, it would end Max's turn. So let's yeah. not do that because I want Max to actually do something. Okay, what do you want Max to do? Um, I want Max to head towards one of the trucks. Since Max is the first person to move, yep. the determination as to which truck Max is going towards and which truck the other guys is going towards well, given that... will largely be determined by which way I move Max at this point, won't it? Well, given that. One of I our guys is fear closer already to... heading in uh, closer towards one of the trucks, so yep. I'm going to go for the other truck. Okay. How far can I move? Right, your move is on your character sheet. The move is on my character sheet. Yes. Uh... I don't have to worry about this. Oh my. No, you're just sat lazing around. Okay, yeah, so I, I can move my chair. Six. What does that actually equate to? Does that actually that I can move six meters? Yes. On a normal move, you can move six meters. You can run, however. Let me head to Friday night. Sat no, Friday night firefight. Not Saturday night firefight. There's something else altogether. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Combat, where is combat gone? Where has combat gone? Where okay, has so combat gone? making an assumption while you look that up. That yeah. I can probably move twice as far as if I run. Yes, generally you can. Still gonna not quite get me as far as those trees there. Have you found whether I can move twice as far? Nope. Okay. You can't run, probably. That's because of all the guns and the sword. It's, it's heavy. Be there. You should have brought your bike. <laughs> I should have brought my bike. I absolutely should have brought my bike. Yeah. yeah. 
I can just envision everybody's there with kind of folding Wait, who's shooting bikes. here? What? <laughs> Nobody's shooting anyone now. Well, actually, I don't know. Can I draw a bead through this uh, through here? Because I'm 31 meters away from a chainsaw pirate, and 30 meters is not that far for an assault it's, rifle to shoot. It is not that far. Oh, move action. There we uh, go. And I did that, so I can't know. Because I, okay, I you can move a number of meters equal to your move times two. Oh, is that normal movement? That's normal movement. Ah, so a normal move has brought me to 30 meters away from this guy that I could potentially shoot at. Yes. Uh, which means that I can still potentially shoot at chainsaw pirate number three. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're going to be firing past trees rather than through them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Indeed, I am. I'm going to be. I'm going to assign three points of my combat awareness to okay. precision attack right. to give you a plus one to any attacks made. Yep. Um, I didn't do it soon enough for it to make a difference in this round, but the remaining point will be applied to initiative. Okay. Uh, so I'll get a plus one on initiative. Um, and plus one to hit for the moment. Okie dokie. That is the solo's special ability for like, combat awareness. And yeah. you have a, a, a list of things that you can split your points between. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Give me a page reference? You've not given me a page reference, because apparently that's none of my business, right? Good to know. Remember one have an entire rule book memorised? What kind of GM are you? Going to need... I am going to need, um, a couple of answers from you. Okay, go for it. I seem to have an auto fire. I'm assuming AF is auto fire. Yep. Uh, of four yep. on my assault rifle. I also have both an auto fire and an assault rifle skill. If I'm shooting in full automatic, presumably I use the auto fire skill. You do, and rifle. auto fire has its own private set of rules. Yep, that's what I was thinking it would have. Yep. Uh, since I want to. A, do some good, and B, scare these guys off. I am fully intending to fire a, an auto fire first. Oh god, these poor trees. Um, these poor, poor trees. Depending, of course, upon how many bullets that auto fire actually is. Right. An auto fire rating of four is what? Is that four bullets, or is it the fourth level of auto fire, which is actually my entire clip, and why the hell am I doing that? Right. Hang on. Where can I see my special ability, though? On your um, on your character, character sheet. that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, but I'm looking through your, it for like a million times now. Your roll ability is on the left hand side, underneath. You've got a picture for your uh, space for your picture, which um, has nothing in it. Oh, wait, your handle, no, your roll, yeah. and your roll ability. Um, and you'll need to look it up in the rule book to find out what it actually does. Okay. So you got the picture. Okay, auto fire has been reworked for speed of play. Okay. When you use auto fire, it costs an action and 10 bullets. Okay. If you don't have 10 bullets remaining in your clip, you cannot use auto fire. You use your auto fire skill instead of the weapon skill. Additionally, instead of the weapons entry on the range table, you use its entry on the auto fire range table. Yep, fair enough. Um, I'm going through this because this is the first time. Yep, yeah, no, no, I understand. Uh, do, 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 do. Auto fire cannot be used to make a name shot. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, if you hit. Okay, right, okay. So the range is you are using an assault rifle, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm about 30 metres away. So you're about 30 metres. You are... Okay. Auto fire difficulty. You are looking at a difficulty 20. DC 20. Difficulty 20. Okay, let me look at how good I actually am. Yeah. Okay, so including my plus one for combat awareness, I've got a base of 15. Okay. So that gives me an evens chance of hitting with auto fire at yep. this match. Spray and pray. So yeah, I'm gonna spray and pray. And 
hit trees. And mm -hmm. probably hit some trees, but it'll be minor damage. Well, it, yeah. it'll buff out. If that's not gonna... <laughs> it'll sand down. It'll be fine. It's, yeah. it's character building. So that is a 21. Oof. Okay. When you hit, you roll 2d6 for damage and then multiply it by the amount you beat the difficulty value for. Hmm. Is that irrespective of what the damage on my weapon is? Um, yes. That's bollocks. Um, no offence. Hang on. Let me read... Okay, uh, shut up and let me reread this just to make sure, okay? Mm -hmm. Before declaring it. Crap. If you hit, roll 2d6 for damage and multiply it by the amount you beat the DV to hit your target up to a maximum denoted by the weapon's auto fire. Three for SMGs, four for assault rifles. The number is the amount of damage that auto fire dealt. If both dice came up six, you've also inflicted a critical injury. Right. Um, I'm going to wreck on this. I did not use auto fire. Okay. I can do better damage by shooting a single shot and not use ten rounds to do it. Okay. So I will reroll that on assault rifle. I think this is more likely to be useful against large numbers of people. And that has that has got me. Oh, that was my assault rifle damage on there, not the um, skill. Okay. Okay. So what skill am I rolling? Um, uh, you, I believe. Ah, must be shoulder arms. Must logically, I can only assume. Nah. Uh -huh. Um. So shoulder arms must be long arms and handguns. Handguns. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, in that case, I will actually roll the uh, correct thing, which is shoulder arms. And that's getting me an 18, but okay. I'm hoping that the range... Uh, yeah, the range is a difficulty difficult. ...is going to be... It's actually 19, because I've got the plus one that hasn't okay. been factored in for my uh, precision attack. Right. Attackers reflect plus relevant weapon skill... Right, so range to target. So range is... for a an assault rifle rather than auto fire. Yeah. Uh, assault but, rifle uh, range is. Oh. Okay. I thought the range would be in the weapon table, but apparently not. It'll be wherever you found the one for the auto fire, logically. No, it won't. Oh, because that's in its own section. That's in its own section. Oh, there's single shot based on range. It is in the same section, it's just at the other side of the page. Okay. Uh, so, we are in the 26 to 30. It's, oh my god, it's a 13 difficulty. Right, so yeah, an 18 is going to hit then. Yeah. Just a bit. Apparently uh, it's I've really already, easy. I've already accidentally rolled damage, so that's 20 damage. Oh, hang on. Yes, that's that's the uh, single shot based on range. And then his armor. He's wearing Kevlar. Because I do 5d6 damage with a single shot or 2d6 with auto fire. I'm never going to use auto fire, frankly. No, auto fire has its place, but I don't think it's here. I, I'm going to want to go through the auto fire rules um, you know, between now and us playing the actual game and, and see what I think of them. But at the moment, they just don't seem worth using. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right, so we are on. Well, it's 10 rounds for a maximum yeah. possible extra 3d6. It doesn't even double my damage using 10 shots. Just doesn't seem worth doing, logistically okay. speaking. Oh gosh, how much? So you've done 18 points of damage to him, and he's deducting 7 points of that for his Kevlar. Right. I've done 20 points of damage, and he's deducting 7 for his Kevlar. I've done 20 points of damage. Oh, sorry, yeah. my apologies. Yes. I rolled the damage in the oh, shot did, yeah. way around. So it's... he's taking 13 points of damage to his torso. That's unfortunate for him. Yes, I imagine that is. Explode. Oh dear, poor sword. Um. <coughs> ah, no, don't do that. So, how many hit points has he got? Uh, probably not that many. Um. Oh. 
Right, okay, so he's gone straight to badly wounded. <laughs> well, he did, I did just shoot him with an assault rifle. You did, <laughs> yes. I think he's... that's not unreasonable. So yeah, yeah, he's um, he's on 12 hit points, um, so he is seriously wounded and taking major penalties. Right. So, blam, this is where I say stop. Yeah. After the next shot, I'll say or, and eventually we'll get to shoot at the end of the sentence <laughs> after I've fired a few more rounds off. <laughs> is it a rate of fire one on your assault It's rifle? rate of fire one, so that okay. is going to be it for me for this round. I will okay. end my turn now. End your turn. So, this fire. definitely taking place yeah. in America. Yeah. Stop bam bam or uh, bam bam or shoot bam bam. Feel like I'm not going to be a big use in my, on my own against an SMG pirate. I don't know. Uh, why did you come? Um, <laughs> you, do, you can I mean, get line of fire. Yes, but no I only intended. have uh, a heavy pistol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, remember... I should have lent out my shotgun <laughs> before uh, people ran off. Three D six damage, it seems. Yeah, and we're not supposed to necessarily be killing these people. We do need to capture them for interrogation. <laughs> we, we're not supposed to be not killing them either, though. So I'm okay. <laughs> Yes. No, as long as we as can, long... you know, hack their Asians um, and work out where they came from. Yeah, yeah we, need, we need at least one to interrogate. Exactly. Just, yeah, and remember, I'm I'm there too. I, I'm just behind you in, in okay. uh, initiative order. Again, you're about 30 um, metres away and you haven't moved yet. So your difficulty at the moment is about uh, 25. But you can move up but to you, twice your move. But you can move up to twice your move to reduce uh, that range. Let me check. That's my move is five, so that's ten meters. Yep. Yeah. So you, let me check. Uh, so you can bring that difficulty down just, to twenty. I just measured out from where I was. Yeah, I would. To, to ten meters and picked a location that seemed that you know on that. Yeah, I'm doing, doing the, I'm doing the same five, actually. Um, I feel like I'm gonna move here and be a bit hidden behind tree still. Okay. Um, and I could give the SMG pirate a sh literal shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're let me going check to... that. Oops. That's gun fire. You're about 18 meters away. I make that. Those chainsaw pirates are topless. Doesn't seem very safe. What? Yeah, true. Uh, so, yeah. Right? Uh, depends where you measure to, but you're still in the 20 difficulty. <coughs> okay. Huh. Yeah, I will just try. I think, I mean, not doing anything is. Well, not doing anything is kind of pointless. Know. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Yeah. Um, so I'm just try. I'm gonna try. Okay. Just shoot him. Right. I have to do the handgun roll, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's not a hand. That's uh, I don't know what you just rolled, but. Or that was the handgun damage. Uh, reasonably certain. That's right. the same thing that I did. Yeah. Rolling the. Uh, Possibly. Oh no, that's actually just popped the, the base out. If you want to yeah. roll it from the skills list on your character yeah. sheet, just click on the actual skill name. Oh yeah, sorry, that's dumb. I'm dumb of me. Otherwise, you should probably find that your handgun skill may well be in the the, the hotkey down on the bottom left of the screen. One of those hotkeys. Okay. Okay, so that's a fourteen. Unfortunately, that is a miss. Yeah, that's why it's red. You've just <laughs> shot a tree. Uh oh. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, you missed, so end your turn. So it's the yes. arrow. Which brings it down to SMG Pirate number three. If you end, once you've ended. <laughs> Right, so that is... Oh, he's not actually on the... He hasn't actually got out of his camp yet. 
so he is down here he is driving this truck and is probably not a happy camper to be brutally honest with you where's smg pilot please very handle that's a problem a thing i've got my menus vanishing off the bottom of the screen oh then that's never good yeah it's always fun to have happen that's a joy so let's place him where he isn't and then i can just shift him So he is hopping out of the cab about there. Uh, let's give him. Going to be coming out to. It's going to have to be Max he goes for, but he's going to cautiously move character here. Well, this is fiddly. Right. He's going to move and he's going to have a punt at shooting at Max with an SMG. And he is going to spray and pray because he's an idiot. But he's an idiot who needs a 20. Oh, for God's sake, I'm not even looking that up. He does not have that base. So, bullets go spraying wildly around Max. There are some leaves that will never fall again. Because they're falling already around you. Wow. And uh, some bullets thud into trees around you. But he doesn't actually do a whole hell of a lot of good. up there the other one in the cab with them it's actually a whole hell of a lot easier to place <coughs> oh, he's going to hop out and have a punt at fire again he is going to be using full auto because he's endeavouring to try and get you to keep your head down and it's rolling a three again Needed that, but then he is going hmm. to. Yeah, he's going three to. Three makes me think he's out of firing his own foot, but. He's not auto firing his own foot, but you know, as I said, there's a couple of squirrels basically that <laughs> will never, will never gnaw an acorn again. <laughs> so, Orion. There's not much I can do, really, is there? Not unless you bought a sniper rifle. Um. You could distract people with a, a drone just because they don't have weapons on them doesn't mean you can't do something you <laughs> bonk them on the heads with yeah. the drone. <laughs> <laughs> do they make much noise when they move? Probably not. <laughs> Speaking of sniper rifles, could I get just get a laser pointer and and point it at them? Do you have a laser pointer? <laughs> Can I make a laser pointer? <laughs> In the three-second combat round? No. no. Yeah, uh, you know, just find something that has a laser pointer on it, no, take sure. it off, point it yeah, I think Mechie has, has a laser function. He has a cybernetic eye. Does his eye have a laser function, maybe? If you want to try and direct <laughs> a... If you want to try and direct a drone into a pirate's line of sight, I will allow you to try that. But I'm also not telling you how much a drone's worth and if they decide to charge you for damages. They but have got lights, right? The drones do. Yes. So can I turn it off and then go in front of someone and, turn <laughs> and suddenly turn it back on again? Yes. How are you going to steer with the light off? Yeah. <laughs> Pro gamer moves. Uh, right. Skills. So yeah, badly. <laughs> well, Mini Drone Four could theoretically just go straight forwards because it's positioned over 
um, a road. Yeah. So you could turn the light off and then send it down the road and attempt to blind either SMG Pirate 3 or Chainsaw Pirate 3. Um, Anything Chainsaw else? Chainsaw Pirate 3 because he's going to go after the property that I'm supposed to be protecting. Ah, someone's on mission. Right. Someone had to be. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. What sort of Chainsaw role Pirate 3 is a much the easier target because he's kind of bleeding a bit. True. That's a point. Uh, that is a point. Oh, good. He's opened it in the new window because, of course, he has. <laughs> how, how pleasant. It's not just opened in the new... Yeah, it's opened a completely new tab. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but why, though? Nope, <laughs> that's not what I meant for us. I meant to open the character sheet. <laughs> yep, it has. It's opened the character sheet in a completely new tab. I can actually open them in a new window. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I've got my character sheet popped out to a new window and put it onto another monitor. Makes yeah. that a lot easier. I do that yeah. when I'm playing in Roll20 as well. Mm -hmm. So, frankly, I'm going to be better off just keeping track manually. It's kind of negating the usefulness of some of the VTT facilities. Yeah. Okay. I, I find most BTTs until you actually learn how to use them properly and make sure that they are set up properly in advance, it is much quicker to use it just to display the map and use a piece of paper for everything else. Yeah. Okay, apparently Firefox doesn't want to allow this to pop out, so we're just gonna Oh yeah, Firefox did block the pop out when pop up when uh, mm -hmm. I I tried it as well. I had to tell it to allow pop ups from um Apple. Right. Okay, yeah. so I would like you to make me... I hate to have to say it, because it's the only skill we've been rolling all bloody day. It's going to be t um, electronics. Ah, oh, the one I'm really good at. Excellent. Yeah. Because that's what it's for. <laughs> yep, I'll do it. Is that a crit? Because it's telling me to click to roll the crit. Uh, hang on. No, it does that for everything. No, it, yeah, it always says that because it okay. doesn't monitor whether you have rolled a, um, a crit. No, you only rolled a seven. Uh, the op so the option to roll one okay. is always there. Okay. Mouth over the actual number that you rolled, mm -hmm. it will show you the makeup of where that comes from. So, uh, okay. In this case, this is um, D10 plus 14 with the, with the D10 result being a seven. Yeah. Okay. A total of twenty-one. Yes. Okay. I see what you mean about them being topless. I'm not quite sure why they're wearing tights. Wait. You're seeing something that I'm definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, he's going to get a reflex check, basically, to avoid okay. this. Nope. I will say this is not a flaw in the VTT at all. It's a flaw in the just a just oh. preference. Oh. I I do not like this style of token on battle maps. Uh, no. Yeah. I far prefer uh, what I tend to be referred to as POG style tokens, yeah. where you've got a little round thing with a an illustrative yeah. um, thing on it. I, someone's not the door. Okay. Back in a sec. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I finally zoomed in enough to actually get what you're all talking about. Yeah. So, I, oh my. I find that things like this, even the top-down ones, the top-down ones, I can understand why people might want top-down people running around on the map to look cool. But yeah. I find they just don't stand out from the battle map well enough. I prefer tokens that yeah. actually have a, a nice, simple, nice border around them where you can see them properly. Yes. But that is a personal preference. That's just down to yeah, everybody does yes. it the way they want. And I have a feeling I missed out on moving. Well, no, actually, I, my my turn hasn't come up yet, so I need to move. Yeah. Uh, which? Okay. I need. I'm supposed to be with uh, Fiad. Fiad, I think. Fiad, yeah. When, yeah, when yeah. I get there. Yeah, that was the plan. Okay, Fiad. Okay. Oh no, that's cool. not what I wanted to do. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, you've green. I did. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> I did aura. Oh! Ah! Ooh! 
Excellent. And that did that, so I'm gonna try and turn it off again. Okay. <laughs> and now it can turn off. <laughs> you have it? a dark aura now. Fabulous. I wanna turn it off. Sorry about that. Oh. I can turn it on, but I can't turn it off. This is awkward. I beg your pardon? Oh no! <laughs> uh, Nid this? can't turn off his dark aura. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. But basically, you can make an aura around you where you can see or you can yeah. move it. I'll be there already. Okay. <laughs> Somebody was looking for the flat downstairs. Meters. Nobody got me my aura, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I will just take that to so you got six, so you got that and you rolled that. Okay. He is going to be uh, inconvenienced by the light for his next round. Okay? Yay! I achieved something. He's currently Yay. blinded by bright light and wielding a working chainsaw. Mm. Oh god! <laughs> That's not... Not indeed. being a complete idiot, he is not attempting to keep cutting. Mm. Blinded by the light, annoyed by a drone while stealing wood in the night. Is that, that right? <laughs> I, I did not attempt in any... Yeah, I made no attempt to get the tune on there because I knew that it would be unrecognisable if I did. Yeah. Uh, why, why, why? Has Initiative Tracker done that? Uh, okay, he's dropped. Max has moved. Getting fishy that now, I have the tune in my head. It's confusing me. <laughs> Spire's already been. Why has Spire just moved? In the initiative order. I do not. Memo, do he not. the tracker, so. No. Do not close the initiative tracker for it reorders people who have the same initiative. Okay. Ah. That's helpful. Okay, so SMG Pirate 3. Oh no, SMG Pirate 3 and 2 have been out. So actually, it's in fact. Um, Molière's turn. Aha. Uh -huh. Jump to ah, fix something. My turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can uh, move. I would like to move. To, yeah, to move to Vidra or to join Nid's character. Okay. So, I don't. Where do I? Do I need to check my? Uh, your movement is, move? I believe, I want to say six, but I can. On, on your one. character sheet, on uh, on the left hand side mm -hmm. in the top character sheet, there's move. Yeah, all the, the stats are in a big column going down. And so you first you have got yeah. it, um, it, it, okay, that ref, that side move. on the top, where your name is and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, it's down toward the end, it's, it's seven, okay. Okay, so you can go up to 14 meters. Okay, assuming you were there, so... So, sorry, I have a dog who is trying to get okay. off my lap. At the moment, oh. he does, and he will start barking. Yes, I so, have to get um, up. Yeah. So I'm expecting problems any minute. Okay. That's kind of halfway so, oh, towards okay, me. So up... There we go. Yeah, up to 14 meters. Roughly up to 14 meters. Said, so, yep. Um, uh, you can okay. get to about... the clump of trees to the left of the watchtower, or if you're going along the road, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can get immediately south of that. So, round the bend on the road. Okay, um, then I... Oh, just okay, okay, then. I will go to, toward the trees then. Okay, going for the cover. I guess, like, right about here? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, that's pretty much long range, depending on what you're using gun-wise. Oh god, that's 43 meters. That is long ass range. Yeah, I don't think that I have anything that can go that far. Okay. I have a heavy pistol and a very heavy pistol. And okay. a combat knife, which is not that. Uh... Okay, that's fair. Yeah. 
Uh, pistol range is... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you'd be on difficulty 25 to hit. Yeah. If you wanted to have a punt at SMG Pirate 1, POS... I th unfortunately, you're firing straight through fire if you want to go for SMG Pirate 2. But you could try and draw a bead on Pirate uh, SMG 1. If you wanted. Or, potentially, slightly further range. What, the chainsaw? Could they take a shot at the truck? Ooh. A big target and easier to hit. And might scare the pirates if they think that they're taking that... to their vehicle. Well, now. And could incapacitate them and out their mobility. I like that. Okay. If you get lucky and hit something important. That would make yeah. capturing them easier. Well, that's a yeah. nice big target. It's not dodging anywhere. I do like, and I do like that idea. Okay. Um, you're still in the 25 difficulty. Yeah, because you're still in sure. the 50 meter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> but I... Okay, so that would be a handgun yeah. uh, roll. Okay. Yes. And we are 21... <coughs> However, so, how does luck work? However, in how does luck work? Yeah, I know. I'm just oddly <laughs> enough. <laughs> okay. Make, yeah, I don't want to make assumptions based is, on Witcher. Yeah. No. Uh, no, that's fair. If it's like Witcher... Um, hang on. Add, but I, I honestly can't remember now whether you have to add them before you roll or whether you can do it after. Um, Witcher you add before. Let me... Using a luck uh, before you roll. However, I didn't tell you. Um, at a rate of plus one for each point of luck you put into the roll. So it basically works out as a bonus. So it is exactly the same as Witcher. So it is just like Witcher, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we know now we've got yeah. however much our yeah. luck, um, stat is. That resets on a per session basis. It does. In this game, it's not relevant because this is a one shot. Yeah. But in a campaign, towards the end of a session, you can think, oh, sod it, I may as well throw all my luck into this because I'm getting it back at the beginning of the next one. Yeah. <laughs> it's what I tend to do in Witcher. Yes. All my luck use comes at the end of a session. Yeah. Right. So you've got a yes. bullet. Um, with that roll, you've probably hit the truck, but it's panged off. Um, okay. It's done nothing. Yes, there may be a modifier for size yeah. for the truck. Um, well, not that I've found yet, so I'm just yeah. moving on. Um, Fair enough. Right, so there is a blue arrow next to your f name, Monia, which should move the, the turn on. Up at the top of the screen, it yeah. should be telling you that it's Fixer's turn. And there'll be a blue arrow next to that. Thank you very much. We are on. Oh god, we're on round two. Okay, so yeah. chainsaw pirate one is—he's here for a job, so he's actually going to have a go at the tree. So he is in <laughs> territory. So that's all he's doing. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Yeah, I, I love their. I would love that they their chances with it RRR, but okay. <laughs> okay, SMG Pirate One is going to take a bead at fire. Chains will go brr. Yes. Okay, he is going to probably hit. Um, so, what is? Let's. We we'll want page one seven three. I am, I'm learning this page number. Right, range combat, Dif uh, difficulties, so range to target and weapon. Fire doesn't have that fantastic dexterity, uh, reflex, sorry. So, he is on range to target of... Let's get into the right window first. Really? It's not only 8 metres away, don't be silly. No, it's 20 metres away. 
so he needs 20s so he is currently on oh for god's sake drop it's me down not being spelled Give me the space, please. Base, please. Oh. Okay. Uh, he has hit you. Fire. How? How? With the bullets from his gun. I said ow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so he is... Using that. <coughs> so he's using an SMG which is doing 2d6 damage. I need another d6. So he's doing four points of damage to your torso. If you have any armor, which I believe you should. Uh, light arm and jack. Yep. You that it's will. Two, uh, it's eleven SP. It says. Oh right. Okay. It's just bounced off your jacket then. <laughs> it's dinked off your jacket. You rolled really badly. <laughs> yep. You just took a plink. Right. So um, he is not moving because he's actually not in a bad position. So chainsaw pirate three. Um, is currently out of order because he's clearing his vision. Chainsaw Pirate 2, however, is taking a go at a tree. That's bold. Given I shot Chainsaw Pirate 3 a couple of seconds ago. I know. He's here for a job. And besides, the, you know, it's payment per load. So if someone goes down, that's one fewer person to take the share. Right, which brings it to Max. Okay. Let me just check my uh, movement here. Up to 12 meters. Uh huh. There, seems not unreasonable. This is now moving okay. The cop now I've got the hang of where I'm looking for the stats. This actually is that moving all right. That puts me tw just under 25 metres, so call it 25 metres from Chainsaw Pirate 2. Okay. And this round I'm going to shoot at Chainsaw Pirate 2. Okay, he is ignoring I'm you, so... I'm collecting as many Chainsaw Pirates as I can to try and dissuade them from cutting trees. Fair enough, roll it. Okay, so this is a shoulder arms roll. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's only a 15. That is terrible. That's, that's actually not, a nat 1. That's not a good uh, roll. Oh, we that's... don't have the roll low explosions in this one, do we? I don't, I don't think. think so. Um, so that's going to be a miss anyway, because even, okay. if that, even if that were high enough, we'll which just I go with miss. Up, yeah. uh, nat 1 is going to be a miss anyway. Yep. Okay. So that so just went pop. somewhere skyward, no idea where. Yeah, so, that just flew past him. Yeah. But I think it was probably fairly obvious that he was being shot at. Yes. An, an annoyed bee just buzzed past his... Yeah, uh, his I'm annoyed head. at missing with that, because that was a risky move. I should have tried to take out SMG Pirate 3, who's yeah. the guy who's now going to fill me full of lead. He's going to have a punt at it, yes. But um, I really wanted to try and scare them off the trees. Okay. Uh, we used all my moves, so that's going to have to be the ending. Right? Okay, Orion. There's not much I can do. It's different to last time, right. is there? You could, for example, and this is not me saying you should, you could, for example, attempt to fly uh, Drone 4 into um, the back of SMG Pirate 3 or into the oh, face. from filling Max full of lead. Yeah. You've got eyes on the situation. <coughs> Full speed bonk the SMG pirate on his head with yeah. a drone like... <laughs> you could attempt to basically, yeah. If you're just if he's taking aim, it'll 
should throw it. You're, you're not really going to hurt him, but you should throw his aim off. Yeah. Give him a penalty if you hit me. Do the, 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 the drones have little like hooks where they land on? No. Uh, oh. Otherwise, you could grab his gun. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, they do not have little pop out hands that could. <laughs> if if, if it, when we do the campaign, you get some drones of your own. Excuse me, sir, but I will be confiscating this. This is a illegal <laughs> profit. You I definitely think if we if if you're playing in the the uh, actual campaign that we do and you end up uh, with drones of your own, you should definitely fit your know, Boudica style spike uh, real scythes to them <laughs> on the outsides of the fans that they presumably fly on. Oh yes, that would be yes. Okay. I'm going to put you through my drone grater now. Well, mm. <laughs> okay. It's a nice roll. Yep, that is. A dodge. Let's give him a dodge that actually works, or not. Okay, you have done, it won't do any damage, but you have successfully bonked him on the back of the head, and he's basically just gone what? <laughs> and is not focused anymore on what he's doing this round. Cool. So, if you would care to either move or to uh, end, turn. end your turn, so fire. Yeah. Um, stupid question. Is there a, a benefit of being on higher ground? Not that I have discovered. Okay. Probably Otherwise, I see that I have a grappling hook. I could shoot fire. myself in the, tr in, in, in the tree itself and shoot down on it. You could pirate. climb the tree and shoot downwards. It would give you but a... But if it doesn't have any benefit, I mean... That's... <laughs> it depends if they see you climb the tree. Benefit. Come again? It depends if they see you climb the tree. If they see you climb the tree, then they will simply shoot into the tree. If they don't see you climb the tree, then you might be able to get around where they don't know where you are. Well, in my what the in my uh, gear, I do have um, what's it called again? A grapple grapple gun. I can okay. shoot myself like, uh, up in the tree. I don't know if they will hear it though. Well, there is a gunfight going on. I think more useful to you would probably just be to use a, a tree trunk as cover and mm -hmm. pop out fire from behind the cover because then you get the protection from the yeah. tree. That's that's fair. Um, well, in that case, I think that yeah, yeah, I think actually that's that's better to do um, instead of the tree tops. So I think I will move in a little closer to make my my accuracy a bit better, which okay. also in danger makes their accuracy better, but that's another thing. Um, I can move like, what was it again? 10? Uh, yeah. You can move, yes. If you don't move 5, then yeah. Um, that basically would... I can't get close enough and be, be behind a tree, actually, that's a bit uh -oh. You are considered to be in cover if you are fully behind something that could stop a bullet. Right, okay. Well, there's a small tree about 10.1 meters <laughs> there. I can go there for SMG pilot. Oh, go for it. it. Bear in mind how big the windows are. Don't... The, how big the labels are. Don't like panic there, too I'm much. behind the tree over there, and then I will shoot at SMG Pirate 2. That's five and a half meters. Okay, close range. Hmm. If they have line of sight on you, you aren't in cover. Um, basically, if you have line of sight on them, they have line of sight on you. You can shoot and move. So you can move, shoot, move. But if you've blown all your move getting there, then this round they will have line of sight on you. Ah, right. There's yeah, no partial cover. I, I will move, like, slightly behind the tree, so I'm made of cover, but not completely. If you've got light, if you can shoot at them, they can shoot at you. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. I I will just go for it. I'd, otherwise, I'm like. If you useless. yeah, because you've burned <laughs> all your move to get here. Yeah, I, I'm fine with that. I mean, okay. I have a better shot at him now. Okay, roll it. Handgun. 16. 
handgun very close. You need 13s. I got 16. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you rolled a 3. Uh, so, I'll roll that damage. Do you say heavy handgun? Yeah, heavy pistol. The, okay, so heavy pistol, 3d6. How much did you do? Sorry, I haven't got all the windows open. Um, you, sh you can get your damage by clicking on the the damage next to your handgun. The um... The level one? Uh, I have no idea what you mean by level. Uh, next to the hand, next to the hand, oh wait, it's this thing. No, that's and just the base. You could have a, a weapons and armor table that okay. should include your um, pistol. My handgun skill is 6, my heavy pistol is 3d6 yeah. with a 2 right The 3d6 fire. is what you want to click on because that's your damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Okay. It says one D W one D C three. If I click on no, it, that's clearly not. That's working. not it. That's not three um, D six. Does someone want to roll three D six for him, please? I got a three, a five, and a six, so that's fourteen. It's a uh, shame you said that quite so quick. Yeah, oh, sorry. Right. I will. Ta I will take the fourteen. However. Oh, yeah. sorry. It, it, it is a shame because the 16 yeah. was actually a critical. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, it's actually, yeah, too damn efficient. That's the thing. Okay. I will move the dice away from. <laughs> I mean, yeah, oh, no, but that's I mean, never going to happen again. That if I yeah. click on PD6, it, it doesn't do anything except WD, a W1DC3. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the blue part. If I click on the black part, it doesn't do no. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Or should I just click on the word handgun? Uh, heavy pistol, I mean. And that would probably just send heavy pistol to. Yeah, that just. Oh, hang on. No, that no, doesn't. That rolls your damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. There All you right. go. So if you click on the name of a weapon on the weapons and armor table, it will. Okay. Now we know. Right. That's actually you're, worse. You're yeah. not going to the damage. That, that's useful to know. Yeah, I, I have applied the 14 that Molly had rolled. So that is what I've got as the in my hotbar for the assault rifle. Gotcha. Clearly, that. Right. I don't know how you add things to your hotbar. I hot haven't bar. managed that yet. I've been trying. Okay, yeah. so uh, we are on to SMG Pirate 3's go. Uh, who is... Uh, where is SMG Pirate 3? SMG Pirate 3 is apparently so not appearing on this map. Oh, there go. oh he's got an air drone. He's do. got a drone parked over his head. <laughs> okay, he is going to attempt to use his SMG as a club and smack the drone. That has not the precious drone. What bomb was for into his again? Head. That was no, wasn't it? Yeah. He just rolled a one. I don't care how good his reflex is. I don't think that's going to do it. He's going. <laughs> yeah, basically he's taking a swipe at the drone. Next round he'll return to shooting at Max. But this was reflex. Okay, so SMG Pirate Two is going to attempt to return the favour at fire. Jesus Christ! That's oh, another no. one. Um, is it hitting even with the one? It might do. I, if it's nine. a natural one on the die, then no, because you always miss on a one. Yeah, you're right. Okay, unfortunately, no. Uh, so, that's 
not doing a damn thing. That's irritating. I had hoped to shoot fire again. So, uh, Molly, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to move closer again. Okay. I was measuring it out, and it looks like if you see the little U bend trees, sort oh, of near yeah. where, where I am, I was thinking of moving into that sort of hollow in bet- in the middle of the U. Oh, I see. For shelter. Okay. And and then making take another pot shot at the vehicle. Okay. If possible. Let me check your range. 14, I believe. That is 14 meters. Yeah. I mean, you can do it with 11, which means yeah. that you can move, shoot, and then use the last couple of meters to actually get into cover. Yeah. Okay. Um... So, yeah, I'll swoop the across there. Okay. So, Oop. yeah, who are you taking a shot at? SMG I... one or two? Um, or the car, or the vehicle again? I was thinking the vehicle again. Okay. Uh, to dis- uh, to basically immobilize them, if, if I possibly can, or... Okay. If, since, we, since we need to capture at least one person alive. I think at the moment that's likely to be the person who gets concussed with a drone. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, okay. So I'm rolling with heavy pistol, but yeah. I need to do handgun first. Yes. Okay. So did that work? No, that's Holy the base. Uh, I oh. should point okay. out. I misremembered okay. that. Ah. Right. That's it. Send the chat. There That's the beastie. Okay. Oh, I okay. okay. I, I know I, why I'm doing it twice. I click and then I opposite click on. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry. No, that's we're all figuring this out, and it's a slightly awkward system, so don't panic too much, um, or what? at all. In fact, ideally. Panic? That's that's heresy. Uh, so you were fifteen. That? <laughs> Unfortunately, okay, you're still thirty no. meters away. That's not yeah. going to hit. Yeah. I was wrong about the nat ones. They're not an auto miss. It does use the low explosions like Witcher. For some reason, I had it in my head that oh. this one didn't. But a nat one does indeed roll and subtract. So probably still a miss, obviously. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yes. So we know in future yeah. that. that this I thought it did, but I didn't want to argue at the time. You sounded so certain. Uh, but you can. I where I had that in my head yeah. from. You can use your last couple of meters of move to be in cover. So you are covered. Okay. So if they shoot at you, you are in cover. Okay. Right, so you're hiding behind something solid enough to b- block a bullet, which is called a tree. Excellent. Thank you. Right, so Chainsaw Pirate 1 is going to yell timber. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Timber! He's quite merrily been chopping away, ignoring the firefight behind him. He's, he's the guy who's here to do his job. So yes, a tree is going down. Well, going down, tree bird. I mean, the only person with an automatic rifle has one SMG pirate against him. The only person with a pistol, one of the only pistol people has two with a SMG pistol, two SMG pirates against yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how life works, isn't it? So SMG yeah. pirate one is going to have a shot at fire, and is going to yeah. hit. I suspect. Uh, that's a 16, uh, I think. Fire has the, the luck of the Gaelic against fire the Fire uh, has honor. no luck whatsoever. So, fire, he actually needs a total of 20, and that's, I think, going to cut it. Hang on. She has a four leaf clover on her body. She has a much more than a four leaf clover on her body. It's in the little target of, uh, design tattoo on her forehead. Uh, base with a hand, base with an SMG is... The luck of the Irish. <laughs> You're not familiar with the Irish, are you? Um, no. Not traditionally, have had a lot of luck, and if nothing else, they park next to us. Which is a bad place Which to be. Which is not a good place to be. Um, I'm pretty sure she has some potato summer's toad in the back. Well, now you're just being stereotypical. <laughs> right. Probably famished. 
Now, come on. Oh. No. That's too. That's no, that, too no, that's <laughs> that's not on. Yes, oh. thank you. Uh, so that's it. Oh no, he's missed you by one. Oh, bastard! Do you have to sound <laughs> disappointed? Yes. <laughs> I've, sh I've hit one of you once and it bounced off your armour. I'm miffed. <laughs> yes, you did indeed miff. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> when one hardwood tree sorry. is deliberately failed, there'll be number of unknown trees left inside the woods. <laughs> How to euthanize the trees? <laughs> I, I've got bench herd stuck in my head. I can't see the trees for bonus. Yes. <laughs> Okay, just Chainsaw Pirate 3. Cut them down. Uh, Chainsaw Pirate 3 is just going to have another go because he got distracted, so he's got another turn on that tree. So, Chainsaw Pirate 2. Uh, he's been. He's, actually, no, he got shot at last time. He got he got missed, but he got shot at. Got shot at, so that's a distraction. So Chains he's got another turn. Three is the one that's heavily uh, injured. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which brings it through to Max. Max. Uh, Max. Well, as yet, I have not been killed by SMG pilot, uh, whichever. Yeah. Two, I think, is that uh, one? No, three. I was right first time. So, under the circumstances, I think I'm going to continue my current uh, operation. You're going to keep sniping at the chainsaws. Hang on, I'm just trying to get it to, to let me measure. Yeah. Uh, 12 meters, yeah, there looks like a good position. So, Max will move to there. Right. Where he is old. now roughly 13 meters away from Chainsaw Pirate 2. Oh. And open up on Chainsaw Pirate 2 again. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me just check your measurement because I think you may have. Oh, come on. Let me be in the right one. You only. Oh, God. You. Oh. Yeah. You kind it's of... like 12.6, I think I measured it at. So I rounded to 13. 12. Yeah. Yeah, just over 12. It just puts you into the D, uh, next difficulty category. Uh, uh, but you only need 15s, which is actually easier than if you were further, if you were closer. So that's a 19. Okay. Roll damage. And that's 19 uh, damage Shit. with two sixes, so it's a critical. Oh no, you've critted. Excellent. I'm rolling five dice. I've got a good chance of getting two sixes out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very quiet. Right, so crits. Crits. We have crits. Crit happens. Apparently so. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, no, you're not in Aikido, for God's sake. Uh, C, page 187. Thank you very much for the hyperlinking. God, that makes my life so much easier. Right, so, critical injury. Uh, where am I hitting him? It You're is... hitting him in the torso. Sorted out, doesn't it? Oh, yes, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, criticals have their own. Didn't say otherwise, so it's going to the body. Yeah, so that's a 2d6 roll, yes? It is, yes. <laughs> oh, God, you okay? Somebody yeah, just knocked right. something I over. Just... I knocked over a can, but oh, okay. it was an empty can. Oh, hard to tell. So let's just give myself a 2d6 roll. 19. That's an 8. That's an 8, sorry, my apologies. Which I make a broken leg. Broken leg, minus 4 to move. Um, yeah, he's not going anywhere, he's down. So, yes. Pop. Take his legs, take one of his legs out from uh, under him. I feel much better. There's our. We want needed one for interrogation. He'll do. <laughs> He's also on. Uh, oh God! You do extra he, damage. He, Hang on. You do oh, five bonus damage one. to him. You've done. That's not too bad. Then. 
Uh, you had done uh, 19. I had 19. Already. Less his armor, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay, he's in single digits. Um, let's let's indicate. Can I indicate that this guy is down? Right, Chainsaw Pirate Two is out of the fight. He's at the bleeding and squealing level. Mainly going out, out of my leg, out that hurts. Gosh, golly gee willows. Right. So, I think we're doing reasonably well over here on this side, so yeah. uh, you guys can keep up your side of the fight. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> okay, um, Orion, what is your plan? I should probably go help the other side, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm doing fine over here. Go help the other guys. <laughs> okay. Which was the um, one that successfully cut down a tree? Chainsaw Pilot yes, one. Okay. Can I headbutt him with Dren Crow? Dren 3. Um, should be able to. Hang on. I can't really do the flashlight tactic here because... Uh, uh, that's 16 meters. It's got an 8, so yeah. So I can do the head bump. You can. I will take a, the electronic roll, please. Okay. The AI inside the drone's just going, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> what is this barbaric usage? Yeah, so he will attempt to dodge, but he still needs to beat your, he needs to equal your 16s. And with a roll of three, that is not going to cut it. So, no damage, but it's a distraction. So, he's losing his next action. Okay, fire. Yep. You are now nose to nose. This is like a naked gun level um, <laughs> gunfight. <laughs> You're hiding behind adjacent desks at this stage. And no one is hitting. And no one's hitting. Um. I will shoot and then hide behind a tree again. Oh, okay, yep, <laughs> that you can do. You can end in combat. Uh, click handgun. Yep. 19. And I have to click heavy pistol, right? Yeah. 7. Right, that's gonna hit. You are extremely close, so yep. He's taken 7 points of damage, SMG pilot. Boop. So he's now up to having taken another. Okay. So, uh, end your turn. How do I do that? Uh, the blue arrow at the top of the screen. Where it says your name. I have two. I don't see any blue arrows, but that up might at the be top close. it says your uh, it says uh, turn fire. It says the turn and your name, or it's it's your turn, and then to the right of that is a blue arrow. Wait, it can be that the uh, VC screens are in front of it. Oh, damn! That's not what I wanted. Okay, never mind. I'll move it on manually. That... Don't worry. Yeah. That okay. I don't see a blue arrow anywhere. That's the weird yeah, thing. At the top in the centre of the screen, just below um, the URL bar, it says it's your turn. Um, but you won't see it now because I've manually moved you on. So it's SMG Pirate 3, who is now going to try and shoot Max. Because this drone's just pissed him off, but has now stopped moving. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh no! <laughs> Um, I do want to try and dodge this. Was Don't my, worry my about it. Well, no, I know. Well, yeah, I know. You can you can dodge it. You work, are welcome to dodge it. It's supposed to be a decision that I make beforehand. Oh, ends see? the point. I can't. Do, I can't wait. I'm not allowed to wait to see if you hit and then. He's evade, got a minus so eight to his attack move. roll. Whoa. I mean, I could roll horrifyingly badly, or I could do that. Actually, it's only come out at 18, but we're close enough that 18 is probably better than the range difficulty was. 18 wasn't is, yeah, yeah. He did not. He did not make it. 
So yes, the shot goes very wild. Um, but you pirouette around a tree. <laughs> um, and he swears. You'll have to do better than that, you bugger. <laughs> okay, SMG Pirate 2 is not a happy bunny and is going to try and kill fire. And actually rolls a positive number. Oh my god. Shocking. I know. What three ones in a row? Frankly, I just wanted to hit somebody. Mm. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty unhealthy obsession. Well, yeah. yeah it sounds perfectly okay. reasonable to me. It does, doesn't it? Um, so that's a 10. So that's a total of 14. Please be enough. Hello, Pippin. Hi, Pippin. Yes, you can hear Pippin two miles away. <laughs> oh, please. You, you've heard my dogs. Yes, true. Uh, he is... Oh, God. How about... Oh, yeah, he's in that range. So he has hit you. And he's going to be 26. Really pathetic damage on SMGs. They really don't do a lot. If everybody's going to have to hear you anyway, you may as well be here. Uh, he's just done eight points of damage to you. Less your armour. Which I think is 11. It's just plink plink. He's going to have to go for auto fire. And he's just... Oh god, you're behind cover, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Bloody irrelevant anyway. If you're behind, well, no, the cover has its own the hit points. The cover has its own hit points, yeah. Basically, it has its own hit points. Yes. Um, does it count as. No, you do. It is that you take out the cover, then you can you shoot what's behind it. Yeah. You can't go. There's no he's done, fire. So this. he's done eight hit points of this tree's 20. And that's assuming it's a fairly wimpy tree. <laughs> Okay, so, Molly. Just in time for my my turn, the dogs start barking again. Yeah. Um, I am Did planning... You you <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yep. um, yeah, I'll take that yeah, Tilly some pom-poms. Is that what they heard the cat? Okay, uh, I was thinking of moving basically to where the crossroads, where, where the roads form a T, that big tree. Uh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, right, I know which one you Right mean. there. Yeah. Yeah, which should be a little bit less than 14 meters, which is my move rate. Okay. And then uh, probably trying to target SMG Pirate 1. Since okay. Maybe a human will be easier to hit than a large truck. Fair enough. <laughs> move away. Move away there. Okay. And. Then do, do. I need to. Hello, where's my. Nope, nope, that's not the right window. Why are you not working? Hello, window. I'm hearing that oh. why are you not working a lot, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, I make it about 18 yeah. meters, so he are in difficulty 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, handgun. Yep. Hopefully that worked. A oh, lot. so and... close. Oh, God. someday I will actually shoot someone. Yep. Someday. Someday okay. your shot will come. Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> you're as, yeah, you're as old as fishy, but I'm not. I'm a fixer. <laughs> if they need me. That's oh, the problem, you see. You're trying to break things, not fix them. Oh. Yep. Okay, exactly. so. Um, I'm assuming the last meter of your move goes back to going to behind cover. Back yes. Behind and tree. end your turn. Yes. And boop. Yeah. Right, Chainsaw Pirate 1 is going to wave his chainsaw and attempt to attack the mini drone with it. And is going to hit it. Ooh. It's going to hit it quite hard. Ooh, right. That chainsaw. Yeah, right. but they can charge you for that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
he catches it square and the drone basically is smacked down out of the sky so you lose that point of view alas poor drone a new him ratio ouch so oh any drone two actually let's let's just shift him off the screen because it's a easy way to do it move character here mini drone three not mini drone two i'm four there we go you now do not have that pov uh so he's actually the he's the only one who's done any bloody good in this fight <laughs> SMG Pirate 1 is going to have a punt at shooting. You know, he's going to have a go at fire. Because fire's damn near killed SMG Pirate 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, at least he's on zero for his bonus. But unfortunately, he is not close enough to hit. Uh, moving swiftly on. Pirate 3 is going to bring down his tree. That's all I he's doing. I hope that with a bullet in him, he might not actually be cutting oh, trees right now. That's the point. He did take a hell of a lot of damage. Let's give him... Uh, not as badly as uh, Pirate 2, but yeah. still... No, he's delayed. Good point. I forgot he took that much damage. I should have noted that. I did note that down. Okay. Uh, half his hit points away. Yeah, so he is soaring, but he is moving considerably slower. Chainsaw Pirate 2 is going to move, and he's going to try and take on Max with his chainsaw. Because that's the kind of scuzz bucket he is. Sorry, it's just really driving me out the way. You do have to be really quite pixel perfect, don't you, to move the characters? You do. I mean, I think if you're anything like me, it's partly because you're zoomed out quite a long way, I would imagine. Yeah, I've just zoomed in a bit. On, this is the thing with modern setting, modern and, and you know, science fiction settings. You're dealing with much greater distances between the combatants yeah. than you do in something like D and D. So, what might be easy to click on when you're zoomed in for a melee fight, where everybody's within like a thirty foot by thirty foot room? Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at you know squeezing off thirty meter shots against people with an assault rifle, and you've got to have the map zoomed out a lot further for that. It makes a big right. difference. So he is coming at you. Chainsaw Pirate Two is coming at you with a very heavy melee weapon. Uh, he bloody isn't. I broke his leg. Oh, God! <laughs> I hate you so much. I forgot you did that to him. <coughs> oh, of course he's not. Image now of a chainsaw-wielding chainsaw pirate hopping towards me. <laughs> I'll get you for that. <laughs> Just a flash wound. You are really seriously kicking their asses here. Um, it's not supposed to be on a solo. Oh, well, yeah. That's what we do. Okay, so he Make is. change for then. me to be playing the character who's good in a fight. So we will skip him then. Max. Yeah, right. it's interesting to be honest. It's kind of like a horror shame. session, isn't it? Imagining someone with a chainsaw crawling towards you with no legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the night in a forest, no less. Yes. <laughs> chucky, chucky, chucky. Yes. I oh, God, I need to rewatch that film now. Yeah, Exegloss. Can imagine him tripping and cutting his own other leg off. I am 10 <laughs> metres away from SMG Pirate 3. Yep. And I'm going to shoot SMG Pirate 3. Right, roll it. Add luck if you want. That... No, no, that did not. No, that definitely didn't roll. It wasn't just okay. um, waiting on delay. There we go. Now it's rolled. 21, I think that might hit. Yeah, that's going to hit. Yeah. yeah. Roll damage. So, assault rifle damage. 14, but I didn't get a critical this okay. time. I only got one six. Okay. So he's taking... Okay. Hey-ho. 
So. Yeah, you know, actually, Sharp, now you mention it, that's a plan we should have thought of, possibly, to have the Nomad sneak round and hijack one of the trucks and just run the buggers over. That would do it. That would also yeah. potentially knock over some trees, though. Uh, well, that's why the Nomad does it. He, he's got the better driving skills. Yes, true. Okay. If I did it, I'd take out half the forest. Orion. You've lost one of your drones. Yeah. May I rest in peace? Is... Well, it's two equal <laughs> pieces, to be fair. I'm treating the drones a lot like the flying spheres in Phantasm. That's what they look like to my fa to my head. I don't know what that is, but no, I want one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show shoot you some pictures later. They're fun, horrible, but fun. Yeah. Because I actually, uh, one of the D and D campaigns I ran when I was at school, uh, had an artificer, and his entire gimmick was he had a sphere that floated around him that cast spells. Oh, well, okay. So he played it like a wizard, but it was just the spells came from the sphere rather than him. Fair enough. Interesting idea. Okay, so what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Um, so what is going on with the DC up and on the left side? Because I've been keeping track of roughly who's attacking who, but not who's at what health. You have no idea. Um, there was gunfire back and forth. Bear in mind, you could only see through the drone that is no longer mm. there. You know nobody's down yet. Where's your closest drone? Bring a new drone. You've got four. Well, you've, you've got, got three. Now. Drone bring one is the closest. The nearest one is the one just south of them. So. Yeah. You can bring that in <laughs> to uh, see bring what's going on. Find out what's going on. Can I examine the truck? Um, I, I just want to shine some lights far. through the windows. You can't get that far in one turn. But you can. I mean, you can do it, but you can't do it in one turn. I'm not sure how fast the trains uh, move. They're eight, I believe. Don't think I can pull up. The... So you can go to just south of SMG Pirate One, the clump of trees there. Um, uh, mini air drone six move, so oh, is twelve it six? meters. So only twelve meters. Also, oh, yeah. I remembered what uh, yeah. page number you said they were on earlier. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So. So I can move. That's sort of the bottom of that clump of trees, then. Yeah. In that case, I'll just need it. I will say, that for Astral's benefit, the ruler room is very, very useful. Yeah. That's something I miss on Fantasy Grounds. I don't yeah. think FG has it. Roll20 has. Yeah. So, move your drone. Move your drone, yes. Uh, okay, so it was about that, wasn't it? <laughs> Right, uh, and then end your turn. So, fire. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now I see the blue arrow, by the way. Oh, right. You go. You can <laughs> pop out. All my uh, VC screens are on the oh, top. Fair uh, enough. So ah, fair enough. Uh, that would do it. You can, if you wish, pop out fire and pop back undercover. Um, then probably if I hit the pirate's killed, so why not? Yeah, give it a go. I'm just just going for it. It's the easiest. For okay, me. roll it. That's handgun. Yeah, that'll do it. That's a pretty good roll. Heavy pistol. Got seven points of armor. Ten. With he takes one, three. two, four. Uh, he's, hang on, I need to check whether I know he's gone. I think he's either dead or he's nearly dead, and he's taken. So, oh, actually, he's not that badly off. Um, well, it's not great, I will say. So he's now I did in see single with the damage figures. if I hover over it. It says force with uh, a yellow a yellow thing left of it. I don't know what it says. Yeah, I'm tracking his damage separately. Okay. Uh, so, yes, end your turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's all right. No, uh, he, he is dead. Okay, SMG Pilot 3. Who is going to shoot at Max? 
Returning the favour. Yep. I will attempt evasion, even though um, yep. it may not be any better. Well, then again, 21. His difficulty is unlikely to have been that high. Uh, yeah. What's your reflex, actually? My reflex is eight, which is the minimum which that lets me Which is the minimum. Okay, yeah. No, that's fine. I just had a... Have you been I trying get. to dodge? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Now, personally, if I were running CP, but when we, when we do it, it's going to yeah. be you running it, so this isn't relevant. But personally, if I were running it, I would drop the requirement of eight reflex. The lower your reflex, the less likely your evasion is to be better than the difficulty that the range gives you anyway. So I'm fine if people want to risk it with a low reflex. I don't mind. They're probably going to harm themselves more than benefit themselves, but could get lucky. I will decide. I, it is it is a potential, but I will decide. Uh, I don't think any game has ever survived without being house ruled and Naughty G seems oh God, positively no, encourage no. it. Well, actually, do see do positively encourage it. So uh, that is a total of <coughs> so silly. So that's only a total of 14. And you've got another 21 on the evasion. And that's not going to cut it. Right, okay, fine. So he has missed you and is ducking into cover behind the tree. Quite sensibly. Uh -huh. Uh, SMG pirate tool in their ongoing battle against reality, logic, and fire. It's critting. Potentially. Damn. Well, he's not critting. Not critting. Critting, but he's got yeah. ten. It's, it's a, a small flaw with the current in, uh, iteration of the interlock system that it uses critical for two completely different things. Yeah, so he got twenty-eight. Three, critical fail. Yeah. 28, so he has hit fire. Rather, well, he's hit where fire is, but since fire is also behind a tree, uh, he's doing 10 points of damage, so that tree takes more splintery damage. It's not dead yet, but it's getting there. Uh... So, Molière. Okay. I th would like to move closer to SMG Pirate One. Okay. Uh, you see the uh, along the the horizontal bit of the road. Yeah. There's a small tree. There's a bigger tree below that. Yeah. And then sort of a U shape. Gotcha. Uh, moving between the bigger tree and the U shape. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Which should be not should be well within my range yeah. and then uh targeting smg pirate one okay. again right go for it you um, will hit him at some stage at some it will eight meters now so the range is good the range is good yeah you're now on 15 difficulty oh, oh well now you oh. get what you needed for and i <laughs> Already done it, but I was about to say, and don't forget that you can choose to use some of your luck uh, additional you bonus. You, you yeah. also did, didn't can, really need it anyway. So. Uh, also, please roll an extra 10, an extra d10, because you rolled a 10. I guess that worked. Oh. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, in fact, if you click, I think, if you click the delayed roll button that it's yeah. there, oh. that will roll the additional d10. Won't add it on, but it'll just roll another d10. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what that means. Yeah. So 29. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's a pretty good roll. Well, that's for once. Well, yeah. Okay. That's even, no, that's that's just, no. <laughs> yeah. Poor uh, bastard. So 36. That doesn't actually give you anything better. No, um. it just, it's more stylish. <laughs> Woohoo. And, and for a fixer, that is very important. Yes. Yeah. It's all about style. So exactly, the style all... of the substance. Yes. So heavy pistol uh, is three d six. Yep. And did that actually go? No, no, no. If, if no, you no. click on where it says heavy pistol. Okay. There we go. There we go. 
Six points. So unfortunately, that's Ouch. not going through his armor. That's a horrible roll. That's an awful roll. Poor, poor <laughs> you. <laughs> but yeah, he's now. Um, um, 3D. Oh, 3D6. 3D. Oh, God. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, well, he hasn't actually taken any damage off that, unfortunately. But maybe I've annoyed him. So you, you've that's... confused him because he hadn't really registered that you were there. <laughs> He's focused on fire being a threat, and now it's just shit. Where'd that come from? Uh, as uh, okay. this thuds into his ribs. So, um, story yep. of my life, yes. Yep. Chainsaw oh. Pirate 1! Oh, oh. oh, hasn't taken any damage yet. Good God, how has he not taken any damage yet? Um, he is going to move on to the next tree. He's actually just... He's, he is literally just going to go, well, OK, you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Fine. So he's going to go there. Oh, no. SMG Pilot 1 is going to have a punt at shooting at Monia. Okay. And is going to roll a 7, which is a total of 17, which is going to hit. And is going to hit for eight points of damage so That's... you should have an armor value yes armor is 11. okay so it didn't get it, it bounced off your armor he just he just did to you what you did to him fair enough shoot about his fair play it is why are you saying chainsaw pipe one stop it thank you uh, Chainsaw Pilot 3 is still got a bullet on him and is still yeah. I think it's uh, at this it stage. Hasn't taken... 3 hasn't taken any criticals he's no. just taken quite a bit of hit point damage yeah so. so he's just cutting slowly let's see if he gets no okay next round he'll get to cut his tree now because he just wants to cut and go basically <sighs> Chainsaw Pirate 2 has a broken leg still um, and is crawling back towards the cab. Uh, Max? Oh, decisions, decisions. Do I do something to stop Chainsaw Pirate 2 getting away or do I do something to stop Chainsaw Pirate 3 chatting, chopping down a tree or do I have another go at taking out Chainsaw Pirate... Uh, uh, SMG. Sorry, uh, SMG Pirate, whichever number he is. Yeah, uh, 3, I think. Move that drone away so we can see what we're doing. I think I'm going to move behind oh, this tree. So I've got cover from the SMG pilot. Okay, I just moved the wrong drone. I'm an idiot. And I'm 18 meters away from the shot I'm making on Chainsaw Pilot. Three. Okay, roll it. But I'm I'm doing it from hiding behind the uh, tree so that it's between me and the SMG pilot. He'll have oh, to okay. Me. So you're for the cover as well as he's quite concerned. capable of doing, but... Are you adding any luck first? Uh, no, no. Which okay. is fine because I got a 22 without it. Right, roll damage. Um, I'm good at this. You are, I don't yes, really need I... the luck for that. Yeah. <laughs> If I could add it to the damage rolls, I'd do it there instead. Fair enough. Roll it. Oh, bloody hell. That's got to be a crit. Yep. 20... Oh, my 26 God. 26 damage with, indeed, the two sixes that are needed for criticals. <laughs> for oh, critical. my God. So 31, including the critical. So 31, including the critical and a critical. Let me just roll my critical. Which is a... 2d6 roll uh, of four is a collapsed lung. Oh my god, you've killed him. So he'd be dead. Wow. He's, he's dead, 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 dead. Especially dead. given that he was already, I think he was on about 13 hit points. He was, yes. 30 points to uh, him. Yes, yes, he's, he's very dead. So, taking him to nearly minus 20. Uh, yes, he is, he oh, is yeah. some, yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so you basically, Stop the two booger. chainsaw wielders are out of the... 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of the fight, one way or another. Yeah. But I need to still need to make sure Pirate 2 doesn't get away. Yeah, this is true. Although I don't fancy his chances of driving a truck with a broken leg, to be honest. Automatic transmission. <laughs> ah, hadn't considered mm -hmm. that. Wait, which leg is broken? Is it the it's right or the left? You didn't actually work that out. Because if it's the right, he can't. It would be very difficult to drive. Yeah, you know what? I think I'd probably put up with awkward if I was being shot at. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes. Well, I haven't shot at him since I took his leg out. No, true. Okay, do you want to end your turn? Oh, sorry, yes, I need to end my turn. That's okay. okay. The combat system actually is working quite nicely. Yeah, uh, there are... Yeah. Where I have, a prob where I have problems with the mm. combat system, it is purely in that it is streamlined. Then it's nicely streamlined. I want more optional rules. I want stuff that you don't have to use, but that you can if you want to or yeah. need. Um, and I do still have an issue with the assault rifle uh, and, and fully automatic fire. I think yeah. it's probably okay. fine with the submachine gun, but it doesn't seem worth doing with an assault rifle. Okay. Right. Uh, Orion, what are you doing? What was the movement again? Was it six or eight? I've forgotten now. Uh, uh, six. You've got six on the drones, which lets you move up to 12 meters. Yeah. Okay. You can, if you wish. I think that will almost get you to the uh, vehicle, so you can shine in through the cab. You yeah. Look in there if you want. I shall do that then. Uh, which would be about. Yeah. I just love it. Oh, Ryan sat there in the observation room, cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the proper way for him. Yeah. Engage, you know? Why yep. would you risk yourself? Stupid yep. people. Meanwhile, Max is basically decimating their forces. <laughs> Actually, better than. So, um, has everyone got out? Is that what I'm able to see? Uh, yes. There's nobody else in there. Cool. Okay, fire. Um, what's the state of Pirate 2? Uh, he's still there. Well, then I'm probably finishing up. <laughs> I think Roll that's it. the most political thing. Uh, hang on. Teen. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Um, Hello. I really don't like to do it by the way but are you looking at the time because we're an hour past where we normally yeah. play uh, yes mm -hmm. and i was just worried about what people had yeah. uh, no, going on in the morning I have, I have um it's all right i have a wind condition but particularly in mind. Nick, who is an hour ahead of us yeah i have a wind condition yeah, in mind it's... and you're not far off it oh wait i have to boss turn right yeah uh, so you've got you've done eleven points of damage to him, so he is oh dear. Okay. Uh SMG Pirate 2 finally falls. So uh he doesn't therefore get a turn. And it is now Molière's go. Okay. The guy to um, your right has just fallen over with uh, some bullets in his head, a way bullet in him. Okay. And would it benefit me at all uh, for likelihood of hitting SMG Pirate 1 to move closer? Or... Um, hang on, how far away are you? No. About 12 meters, um, aren't you? Yeah. Um, actually, 8 meters. Yeah. I don't know that that would do it. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I am finding my... I tell you what, it's getting increasingly easy to find my way around the table. Um, no, it wouldn't benefit you. Not really. Okay. Then... Uh, You'd have to get really close. Yeah, I don't see that's really worth the yeah. risk then. So I will take another pot shot. Are you going at... to... You well, can what, spend sorry. luck. Don't forget, you can spend. Yeah. You can add some luck to your roll. You just have to tell me how much you're doing. Okay, and that comes out of my luck yeah. score on my sheet. Okay, yeah. and I have seven. Okay. Um. So you currently I, uh, you yeah. currently need fifteen. Okay. Um. 
Okay, if we're if we're wiping up, should I maybe can I use two luck for this, and then if it's successful, two luck for actually hitting? You can't use any to hit uh, no. damage. Okay, okay, fair enough. I did not know. You can so... dump it entirely into this shot mm -hmm. if you want. Why not? Okay, <laughs> plus plus seven. Um, plus seven. Okay, luck. so for the hell. For the hell of it. So, so yeah, I will manion yeah. that. Okay. Oh, just as well you did put some in. Oh, good. Because you okay. rolled a twelve. You needed a fifteen. And, yeah. You've got. Okay. You've got a um, um, uh, nineteen. I don't okay. like to worry you, but that twelve. That reason that that was. Mm -hmm. uh, twelve there is because it was a net one. Um. Oh. Yeah, roll the critical. Uh, roll again, the okay. uh, critical. Hit the delayed roll. Ouch. Oh, oh hang on. No, oh. no. Four. How badly have I screwed up? Oh, <laughs> well. Have I shot myself in the foot? No, but you've missed. You've missed by two. <laughs> I'm Even really sorry for pointing that in. out. But... Oh. oh, no, that's oh for god's <laughs> sake oh i'm okay, so i do not if like... i'd let you move up or i'd suggested that you move up that would have been two points <laughs> easier and you'd have still hit him <laughs> oh, oh no okay. i'm sorry i'm blaming it on astral no nope. yep, absolutely not like okay Blame. end of your turn <laughs> that's okay and so <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> pirate two Glances over oh, to uh, uh, his dead mate and yells, screw this noise! And goes barreling into the cab. Ooh. But I'm spying on. That you're spying on. Lots of photos of him then. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, SMG Pirate Ooh. 1 is rather pissed offedly shooting at you. Oh, is it just going to be abandoned? And is rolling a 1. <laughs> and is rolling a 9. So he's got a grand total of 3 to try and shoot you with, and that's not going to cut it. Uh, Chainsaw Pirate 3 is dead. Uh... Pirate 2 is uh, going to be attempting a drive roll and is Nat 1 the drive roll. Ha! Oh god, yeah, he's just currently bleeding and squealing. He's just tried to stamp on the accelerator <laughs> with his bad foot, bad leg. Muscle memory. Just out of, but yeah, muscle memory. Oh. Max! Okay, uh. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Twelve meters. Yeah. You need sixteens. Twelve meters takes me to there. Yo. Now I'm using fully automatic fire. Right. Because I'm not going to roll any dice for this. You would be a fool to make me. Okay. Have you oh, have burst you into the front left tyre. <laughs> um, I'm going to make you roll the die purely to make sure you don't fumble. Just purely to make sure that I don't drop it or shoot myself yeah. in the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's the wrong skill. It should have been auto fire. Let me re-roll. Yep. 23 on the auto oh, Jesus. I think at a range of six inches, that's probably good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, that, yeah. that's some. Um... Just shredded that tyre, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, so do me a favour and see how much damage you've done to that tyre. 2d6 <laughs> times <laughs> 3. Times 3? At... Oh, sorry, no, times 4. <laughs> at, even at this range? I thought that should be times 4. Yeah, it's times 4. 2d6. Let's hope that this will allow me to put the full formula in. No, it won't. So, in fact, that 
that's it just didn't do the multiplication uh, so, six okay. times four is not that much okay yeah okay yep the tire... uh, 24 points is not impressive there is, the tire explodes and the whole truck just... just sinks on that side I, I just want to check something just out of interest oh hang on yeah yeah, 24 against 17. It was slightly better damage than if I'd just fired a single bullet at it. Fair enough. But in real terms, that's yeah. 10 rounds going through that. Yes. Um, yeah, that, that's <laughs> not getting fixed. What the dice say. That's a lot more damage than just a single shot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so that's that's not going anywhere. Um, he's not going there. He is going to have a common sense check. Do you want to end your turn? Oh, sorry, I forgot to end my turn. Orion. There's not really much I can do that would contribute, really, is there? Uh, not a huge amount at this stage. Everything else sort of seems to be. Just... What kind of range do the drones have on autonomous action? How do you mean? I was just wondering whether he could just trigger one of the drones to follow the truck that's actually leaving. Yeah, I could do that. And photograph its destination. Yeah, because what um... I'm thinking of doing at one point was just like turning that... the drone off as it's... it just sort of sat in the truck. <laughs> oh, what kill its lift? and then just have it sitting there. Yeah, and then just using it as like a tracking beacon. I hate to have to say it, but that might work. Might work, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> annoying. Just land it on the yeah. back of the truck and just leave it there. Yeah, yeah. Just like the Millennium Falcon on top of yes. the mm. Imperial ship. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. Just yeah. literally. Uh, I will take an electronics roll just purely to make sure that you don't fumble. Okay. Because you're aiming to drop on the truck. It's not a problem. Okay. End your yeah, turn. Securely so that it yeah. doesn't just fall off. Yeah. So the roll, certainly. Yeah. So, fire. Um, so, Pirate 2 is um, dead. In, in sense of meters, what is a range that's quite good able to hit with my firearm? Uh, you're using a pistol, aren't you? Yeah. Um... 7 to 12 so you are currently oh currently in the wrong file hang on um you could get close if you got within 12 meters of smg pirate one that would knock it down to a 15 I'm, I'm, difficulty I'm not looking at that actually oh okay uh, i'm trying to move a bit closer to the the truck and try to oh. hit the uh the gas can oh Right. I mean, optimistic with a pistol, but worth a shot. Yeah, but that would be an aim shot. That would be a, that is an aim shot. Yeah, that's a plus eight to the difficulty. I can move about here. That's about ten meters movement. Okay. Where I was kind of halfway behind a tree-ish thing, and then shoot at the gas cap. So that is. Let me just check range. So that's the 17 to 12. So you need 23. Let me just give it a chance. Remember, you can add luck. You, you can rolling. add luck. <laughs> and that works so I'm... well. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, bad is a type of luck. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You didn't add luck. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have to add luck. Sorry, how do I do that? Oh, yeah, unfortunately, um, you have to say, and you do need to do it before you roll. Oh, I know. Um, however, oh, since we're coming to the end of the session, I'm inclined to say roll of call. If you want to blow luck, I will allow you to do so, but I will. Um, yeah. I, for I, I forgot I had to press it, sorry. What is your luck score? Uh, my luck score. Again. What, 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 what? what is your luck stat? Yeah, it, it's one of your set. Under, between will and move, you yeah. you've got luck. It's yeah. eight. eight out of eight. So you've got up to eight Ooh. points that you can. Um, I will, in that case, I'm deeming that if you want to do it, you're going to bung all Ooh. of your eight in there. 
Sorry. Okay. Ignore those things yeah. I was trying to yeah. find. For a dump of everything, I will let you do it. Um, after the fact, I wouldn't normally, but since we are running late and it's the end of the sesh. Um, yeah. Bollocks to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a, I will allow it. Um, so yeah, so uh, they're down another drone. Yeah, it's on the truck. And uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, they're down another drone. Let's see how much. Let's see if we've lost any more trees. Uh, so you've got um, <clears throat> some very scorched trees, and another one has been taken down wholesale ripped out by the explosion there is a Jurassic Papa's spread the battle <laughs> Jurassic Papa's here ready for battle <laughs> no Jurassic Papa's still swapped in uh, what oh. yeah, you end up lying in uh, it... astral for a second briefly disconnected yeah. you and put you back oh. in there you begin okay fine. Just, yes. just, a, just a connection thing you see that all the time with yeah. all 20 people okay them. so there is an explosion the front of the truck bounces vertically, splashing flame side to side, and ripping out the nearest tree by its roots. Oh. And uh, petrol, burning petrol splashes some of the nearer saplings, scorching their trunks. We're going to get so dark. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah, you try explosives in uh, a forest and it's going to happen. Um, the sound of the explosion does rip through the entire forest. Oh no. And SMG Pirate 3 just looks and and just drops his weapon. As Max stands up and levels his assault rifle yeah. <laughs> with, yeah. with a wink. Pretty much. <laughs> he surrenders. Too bloody late. I don't know where that boy came from. Uh, <laughs> Edinburgh, I think. Yeah. I think there's not much left of SMG Pirate 1 as well. No. There's, there, no SMG Pirate 1 is no longer engaged in uh, anything. He's not a, he's not alive, is the term. So, he's unalive. Yeah, he is unalive. And the rest of you are just out of range, so yeah. Well, right. Um, I must say that as... As a first experience of Astral goes, it's not user-friendly. No. Mm -hmm. There are definitely things that uh, I don't like about it. But once we figured out what we were doing, it seemed to go relatively smoothly mm. towards the end there. So it's not necessarily any worse than the other two main VTTs. It's just different slightly to the other two main, main VTTs. Yeah. It remains, in my mind, an issue of which do you prefer you rather than which is better right i will however in the wrap up you are arresting presumably smg well, pirate arrest. Three. well i suppose technically we can arrest arrest you are we... detaining <laughs> as <laughs> moving <laughs> as you detain smg pirate three and presumably yank pirate two out of the cab out of the cab yeah they start twitching violently and then both their heads simultaneously erupt oh, into clouds of nice. steam and gore. Oh, bugger. Ooh. Mind blown. Ouch. <laughs> Microbombs. Cerebral oh, microbombs. Bloody trees. Oh, wow. Wait, yeah. Somebody really no. didn't want to get uh, found out. Right. Yeah. If we, if we knew this beforehand... We have a guy good with computers, like. Yeah, if you'd known that they had uh, micro bombs in their craniums, if they had known they had micro bombs in their we craniums, really, we yes. really would have needed a net runner, though. We don't. Would. Those. And you don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to perform surgery. No. Oh. Okay. So yeah, it's oh. a bittersweet victory. <laughs> but but the fight get is paid? over. Uh, and well, hmm. yeah. Okay. I think we get, get what they yeah. wanted. They wanted they the information on who they were. Yeah. 
So technically, we didn't succeed. Yeah. So. Technically. You lost three trees. And. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, two, two trees. My apologies. Two fingers. You lost two trees. Um, so that's 200 ducked from each of your pay. Of course. Um, and you didn't get the information they were after. However, that their brains were blown. The bloody, bloody trucks. Yeah. You do have one well, truck. truck. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, only one truck. Yeah. Yeah, and you have one truck with usable forensics. Sorry, I'm sure our fixer could sell it. Yeah, so you've got <laughs> access to 800 ebbs each for this gig. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay, and we will wrap that up there. Thank you so much for staying so late. I was told you by hook or by crook we were bloody finishing in one session. <laughs> Second game of Cyberpunk Red, both quick shot, quick starts uh, with pre-gen characters that I have played, and I've thoroughly enjoyed both of them. I'm really looking forward to getting my own character and a yeah. canon campaign. Yeah, yeah. I will Definitely. be running this. I will be carrying on running this. So, uh, final call then for anybody wishing to enter the draw um, whisper hint plays for oh hello that's gone wrong um, uh, can give a copy of this excellent yeah. playing game oh my god we've had no entries what really there's yeah. nobody Whisper. Um, apparently nobody was interested. Oh, that seems that unlikely to me. Yeah. There's something very strange going on there. Yeah. Um. You're definitely logged in as as um, hint place. I am. Looking there. Hmm. However, I'm also showing real connection issues. Ah, uh, let me see whether I can. Yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. So there should be at least one because Shard says the entered. Yeah. And I'm fairly certain that Nomad did as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right, hang on. I just need to log out of me and log in as. Hint. Yeah, whispering was was supposed to be. Oh, the way that it worked. Yeah. I have no looks. What about this? Twitch wants me to verify that I'm me. Oh, yeah. That mm. old nutmeg. Oh, and me. I'm just swapping just in case they whispered my other account. <laughs> but yes, I know Shard entered. I'm fairly sure Nomad did. Did you have the permissions set up to allow yes. whispers? It would have alerted me anyway, if people had tried, because you can permit on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. oh. Right, whispers. I've, I'm showing two whispers. Oh. Um, neither of which is an entry. Well, I say neither of which is an entry. I don't okay. know if hello was an entry or a test whisper sent just now, but or if it was from ages ago. Huh. But I've got a test from Robbins in there, and I've just got a an enter from Looper, which is a test. Yeah, so those whispers, that whisper came through, Looper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um so that is really weird that we didn't get any earlier on. Yeah. Uh, you whispered hint plays. It told you you weren't, weren't allowed to DM. Oh. But I did allow it. I am confused. Okay. Right. What I am going to do then is I will look through Well, I've got an entry from you showing now. Yeah. I will look through the logs... Mm -hmm. um, and I will check 
uh, what people have mm -hmm. sent because it should at least it should have alerted in chat um, otherwise we may have to do this on um, next week for which I do hugely apologize well yeah there was no way of knowing yeah I don't know why it goes so straight got when, when, uh... It's set up to allow DMs. Mm -hmm. um, which confuses yeah. the hell out of me. Which... So, um... <coughs> so, apologies to anybody who yeah. tried to enter and it went wrong it went horribly wrong okay. okay what i will do we're going to need a better way of doing yeah. this I'll yeah do what i will do is i will rerun draw tomorrow on my tales from a thursday on dratic up and if anyone thinks they entered or should have entered um drop if, a message if anybody in who chat. is if anybody who is on our Discord, or yeah. feel like joining our Discord, tried to enter and you you know, didn't it turn. didn't work, I'm going to suggest that what we do is that we just uh, let people basically enter on the Discord. Yep. And we'll put something mm -hmm. on there, a message somewhere with um, a react to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To enter, oh. put it in the, we'll put it in general, pin it to general, I think yeah. seems to make sense with a react to enter. And we'll, and anybody who has done that, we will put into the uh, the draw in addition to anybody in the actual stream where it goes out. Yeah, absolutely. I am so sorry. Um, I had... The same goes, therefore, obviously, to anybody who wasn't here to see it, but is watching this on VOD now. If you're watching it on VOD the day after, before the draw has been done, Yep. Pop into the Discord, react to the message, and uh, we'll, and you'll be entered. So, yeah, the draw will happen on the 3rd of December. And it will happen at 11pm UK time. You've got until then to get in. So, if you or someone you know was uh, wanting to enter, yeah. hop on our Discord and... <laughs> Uh, you can drop an entry in there. Okay? And I'm really sorry. Twitch being Twitch, I'm afraid. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't yeah. let it work for us. I don't that know. Really I've well seen annoying. it run like this before. I same. had a chat server disconnect earlier, but I don't know whether that was chassis or Twitch. Uh, it may well have been Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Right. In which case, I apologise for that. That was not how I wanted to end the session. Um, however... Um, Thank you very much, guys, for seeing this through with me. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for coping with Astral's little quirks. Um, and I hope you got an idea of Cyberpunk Red, mm -hmm. um, which is everything from nonsense to ultraviolence <laughs> yeah. in one package. And I think it's got great potential, and I will definitely be running a full time game of it. Um, well, not a full time, but a proper game of it with yeah. original characters. So, mm -hmm. uh, I hope everybody is doing okay. Thank you very much. And Thank you for hosting. Yes. Yep. Come back Thank Sunday you. for some AD&D yeah. second edition run by me. Of course, yes. Yay. Yes. Yay. Okay. Uh, so, yes, if you want to support the channel, um, forward slash donate will get you the command for that. Um, uh, please, chuck us a, please chuck us a follow, not forward slash, exclamation mark even. Um, okay. We'll uh, get you the link and very much appreciated, although we are not pay to play and nope. not pay to watch anyway. And uh, 
we will see i will see you again tomorrow when i do the draw on my channel and uh we will see you again on sunday for D. &D. so thank you very much and that channel the draw's going out on yes mm -hmm. <laughs> well we could say on my channel but yeah Really, you should have put it into. Uh, oh, sorry. it's in my defence. It's late, and I've had three hours sleep. Really... Yeah. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's just starting to hit me quite hard now. Um, oh, so yeah. yeah, thank you, and very much good night.